There's a specific fear towards someone trying to break and enter your home. The intrusion makes you feel incredibly vulnerable and violated. YouTuber What Up Chris knows what it feels like. He published this footage to YouTube in April of 2016, writing, This man was seen trespassing and trying to enter my home. The security footage shows a white truck pass by the house in question. Presumably, the truck pulls up down the street to park, while its owner gets out and saunters down the street adjacent to the home. He is seen in the video walking casually, appearing as though he might pass by the house before he takes a sharp left and walks brazenly up to the drive towards it instead. Another camera angle catches him walking up the front steps before turning right around again without knocking. He takes a right to walk around the house in order to find a different access of entry. Another camera captures the intruder walking around the side of the house towards the backyard. The man disappears off camera for a moment before returning and trying to knob off one of the side entry doors. As they are all locked, he gives up and leaves. His white truck is seen a moment later, driving the opposite direction, down the road from whence he came. The homeowner has since come out of the house in his wheelchair and can be seen taking a picture of the truck with his phone, likely in order to capture the license plate number. Smart move on the homeowner's part, although it's unclear if the attempted intruder was ever caught. We can only hope this man captured enough video evidence to put him behind bars. A YouTuber named Savage Mister seems to be able to control the elements with his mind, and this creepy video has some viewers losing theirs in return. Savage Mister waves to the sky, and in that moment a streak of sideways lightning appears to follow his command. Although it looks like he has superhuman powers, this was actually a total accident. Savage Mister is in the middle of a conversation with his brother, and he was talking with his hands when this once in a lifetime coincidence happened and really shocked them both. Parsnips and Parsimony is a wholesome family vlog, YouTube channel, and not where you'd normally think to go to get your daily dose of horror. But in one vlog, they encounter something on their window that's pitch black and looks full of pus. I think the bottom might be moving during these two scenes, but it could also be the shaky camera. And I have no idea what it is. Um, that is what it looks like. Anyway, they decide the only way to diagnose this find is to slice it open, but no answer lays in its oozing black insides. Is this a plant, animal, alien, or what? If you remove mold or something for a living, let me know what's going on here. The foreign substance breaks into slimy black clumps with no shape and no smell, or at least none they remark on. To this day, they have no idea if this was mold or not, and describe it only as a slimy something. If this is what the mold growing on the outside looks like, imagine what's on the other side of the walls. A YouTuber named S.E. Styles is camping in the woods of Hinton, Canada, when he hears the last thing that anyone wants to hear just outside of their tent. A lone wolf's howl pierces through their conversation and renders both S.E. Styles and his friends silent as night sets in. They soon realize they are vastly outnumbered. If anyone watching this happens to be an animal wildlife expert, I'd like to know if these wolves were howling because they were aware of the human presence nearby, or if this was for some other reason. Perhaps this was a warning to S.E. Styles not to come any closer, although I'm sure he and his friend did not need any extra convincing. A group of friends are hanging out, basically making a random video to pass the time until their power comes back on. They nervously joke about a number of different scary things that could happen to them while huddled together in the dark when a creepy moment actually does occur. You are an idiot! This is every time, ladies and gentlemen. You know. Oh. What? What? I just saw something outside! We're not that stupid! No, seriously, guys, I saw something outside. No one believes him when he tries to explain that they were being watched in the window by something bizarre outside, but I certainly saw it and if you didn't, trust me, soon you will. 
He's creeped out and zooms into the area where he last saw it run off to. That's when he catches a glimpse of the mysterious figure again. Did you hear that? No, I see that. She's there. Oh my god, okay, I'm scared, guys. A strange humanoid creature is crawling on the wall on all floors. They lose sight of it, but that's because it's only seen when it wants to be seen. Soon, its frightening face fills the window, glowing white eyes and all. In an instant, it's gone again until they see movement in the bushes. What is that? What is that? I don't know. I don't know. Shh. Oh my God. Oh my God. When you look at it up close, you can tell it's definitely wearing clothes. Maybe a collared shirt underneath a hoodie. So this is probably a skit in just one of their friends. Still, the glowing eyes and lack of a face are freaky. I hope they are special effects and not a humanoid on the prowl. All of them rush outside for a confrontation. One of them brings their arm down while holding something heavy, and with a sickening crunch, it's all over. You got the flashlight. This is some serious EMF gone wrong. Published by Dark Life in March of 2022, Dennis held an EMF session in the basement of this old house in which girls are said to have gone missing. After spending some time in the basement, he hears something in the wardrobe. As he reaches toward it, the wardrobe starts to rock aggressively. Dennis runs from it, and in doing so, appears to hurt his leg amongst all the rubbish in the basement. He looks back for a moment but decides it's best to leave the house. And after seeing this shell of a haunted home, wouldn't you? Creepy videos don't get much scarier than the creature caught lurking around Anton Meyer's house. No, his house is not haunted, at least not in the traditional sense, but this scary moment will definitely haunt him for the rest of his days in South Africa. The animal control expert needs to move the snake into a cylinder containment unit on the floor, but as more and more of the creature stretches forth, I don't think it will fit. I wanted to know if this is a snouted cobra like he says it is. If so, these snakes are highly venomous and probably the absolute last species you'd want in your home, let alone in such an intimate area. Oh, and by the way, according to the description of this video, the handler accidentally lost his grip and the snake made the watery retreat back to where it came from. Hopefully it doesn't make a second appearance when they least expect it, but since cobras tend to be territorial during certain parts of of the year, it's likely to return at some point. An unidentified aerial phenomena, also known as a UAP, was captured at Dreamland in Dripping Springs, Texas, and shared by Redditor My Brian on Acid. Recording the alien spaceship? It's like not moving at all. The uploader says another source reported on this same sighting. And it's like way higher than the planes that just flew by. It's like further away. It's not moving at all. The post the Redditor is referring to was captured by someone walking their dog who believed the UAP to be a planet, but once they looked at it through their binoculars, they noticed a dark center and a haze around the object. In the comments, Redditor Cronin Siglos appeared to crack the code, writing that it's a high-altitude balloon called an HBAL-604. After seeing one of these, I have to agree. And it's like way higher than the planes that just flew by. It's like further away, it's not moving at all. A bus driver in Alfred, New York was accused of drinking and driving and was given a 90-day jail sentence. The event was caught on camera after 56-year-old Martha Thompson was ordered by students to stop operating the bus, an order that was ignored. There were 37 students on the bus after Thompson took them at a 70 mile per hour clip through their journey, hit a mailbox, and even started rolling backwards down a hill, as can be seen in the video. 
The older students tried to convince Thompson to stop, but she was defiant. They kept insisting that she was not okay and should turn off the vehicle. When she continued to refuse, they accused her of scaring the small children on the bus, which she was. When she also refused to open the door, the older kids took matters into their own hands and began shepherding the students out the back door emergency exit while Thompson repeatedly shouted, You can't get off the bus. Thompson's defense attorney said she never ever would intentionally put any of those children in any type of risk. The fact that my client has no criminal history no one was injured, but this has been a really good thing because it's turned her life around, and now she's getting the help that she needs. While it's all very well and good that the driver is getting help, her blood alcohol level was 0.15. The DMV notes, a BAC of 0.04 for commercial drivers can result in a DUI or DWI conviction nationwide. She's incredibly lucky that no children were harmed in this incident of negligence. Some haunted places are meant to be left alone. The old Washoe Club in Virginia City, Nevada is one of them. Posted to the Ghosts subreddit by I'm the Cat Daddy. This video footage explores the Washoe Club in one of the nation's first industrial silver mining cities of the Old West. Prospectors arrived during the mid to late 19th century in order to stake their claim, and with money came the need to spend it. That's where the old Washoe Club came in, also known as the Millionaire's Club. This was a place where anything goes, with one main entrance and two secret entrances to keep the VIP's secret shenanigans under wraps. The Washoe Club also doubled as a holding cell for the passed away. At least one room did as passed on individuals were placed there until grave diggers were able to properly bury. With such a sordid history, of course, myths and legends are abound. Three ghosts are said to haunt the place. A blonde apparition called the Lady in Blue haunts a spiral staircase. A small ghost girl is somehow lost there. And lastly, a prospector causes trouble around the bar, disappearing drinks that are left unattended and drinking the shots that the bartenders leave for him when they close for the night. This video doesn't show these full-bodied apparitions but does unveil a paranormal incident. As the Redditor explains, he and some army buddies decide to explore the Washoe Club for paranormal activity. He writes, We were told by a few ladies who ran an occult store in Sparks, Nevada to look out for a dark entity named Steve. He apparently likes to close doors in a room called the Red Room. Though not in this video, during an EVP session in the club, they asked for a name and received Steva in response. And that wasn't the ghost's only response as one of the bros provokes the ghost and asks it to answer them. A nearby door starts to close on its own. The men start screaming and flee the scene. The Redditor says they all felt Steve's presence in the club, and he continued to slam doors as they collected their gear. They also felt their jackets being tugged on and a finger ran up one guy's back. I was thinking you probably shouldn't provoke a ghost like this, and many in the comments agree with that statement, while others who also investigated the club attest to similar paranormal happenings there. Is this place next on your paranormal bucket list? I think I'm going to stay very far away from this place. A YouTuber named Sarah Elizabeth brings some friends to search for ghosts at the Columbia State Park in California. When they start hearing weird noises, they think it could be an old water pump turning on, but I'm not so sure. So you tell me what this is. 45 degrees out. So it's pretty cold. What is that sound? Later, they are walking down a historic street when they get a bad feeling about one of the houses. These historic houses are empty, and no one has lived in them for quite some time. Check out the curtains here at the 10 minute mark. Notice how they are pretty much closed. Now look again and 15 seconds later, you'll see they do appear to be open much wider this time. Doesn't that curtain look like it's moving? Over there? Finally, as they look out onto the old creepy street, their camera picks up this nearby growl. They don't seem to hear it until later, but tell me if you can. 
What would you think if you saw a wheelchair moving down an eerie, empty, poorly lit hospital corridor at night? You might think you've walked straight into a horror movie. That's probably what security for this hospital thought when they reviewed the security footage after some ghost was up to no good. In the footage, a wheelchair is parked near a wall at the end of the hallway, but slowly it starts to turn and begins to roll backwards around the corner. No one is pushing it and no one is sitting in it. So who or what is maneuvering the chair? And where are they going? Only the spirits lingering in this hospital know. YouTuber Nick Soderegger, also known as Sunspec, ran his channel for years with it gaining some attention in 2014 for his dance videos. Sadly, in September 2018, he disappeared after hearing a woman screaming at 2.30 in the morning outside his residence. If that wasn't strange enough, since that day, he has never been seen again, and the mystery surrounding what happens remains unsolved. His family has set up a website which will be linked in the description, with a $10,000 reward for information leading to his whereabouts. The next time you shower, don't look up. Published by Tia Bassi in March of 2022, this creepy video shows what could be the hair in your drain come to life. The clip shows a shower curtain pulled to the side, while up in the corner near the ceiling is this extraterrestrial-like critter. It looks spidery, but with even more legs than usual. It somehow also looks like a great pile of tangled hair. What do you think this is? I think it's time to throw the whole house away. This amateur footage catches a Disney worker dressed as Pluto chasing a small child in circles. The ordeal looks rather comical at first until you hear the small child clearly screaming for his life and realize that this is no joke. Just as Pluto is about to grab the child, a nearby adult swings him around by the arm and tells him off. The whole park is watching at this point, so Pluto immediately goes back into character and tries to act like nothing serious happened. He walks away with his hands up as surprised parents continue to film him. I'm not really sure what caused the Disney worker to go off like this, though one rumor is that the child possibly kicked him. According to the uploader, Pluto was escorted away by a park employee, possibly security, shortly after. About 4.30 in the morning when a ring doorbell camera motion sensor goes off, there's some weird lights in the corner, but most Chills fans know by now that this is simply a spider web strand. Swinging back and forth in front of the camera. Even Lexus V says so in the description of this video. But with that said, I have no idea what happens next. A strange light appears at the window that they've never seen before and have never been able to explain since. The bizarre object hangs around long enough to make his dog go crazy. Another reason I think this video is real. There's no faking that kind of reaction from a dog. That animal knows something out there is a big threat. But what is it? This bizarre and giant sea creature was recorded by someone casually sipping their morning coffee in the English village of Tynemouth. It looks like it has the head of a dolphin until it dives underwater and shows an eel-like body. One thing I don't understand is why he quickly zooms out when the creature surfaces at exactly one minute. It could have been an accident, or it could have been to hide from us the fact that this is a rubber mat, like one person says in the comments. I'm no expert, but that does look more like a creature than a mat to me. What do you see? A paranormal investigator known only as Survivor is on his way to go exploring an abandoned haunted cottage. On the outskirts of town, one o'clock in the morning is when he sees, in his words, a strange grandmother on an abandoned road. 
There's no reason for anybody to be walking miles from town so late at night, let alone a senior, so he pulls over to see if she needs any help. To his surprise, the woman who was just there moments ago has mysteriously disappeared. He has a really bad feeling, so he pulls over at the side of the road. What he finds next has him wondering if this was a real ghost sighting caught on video. He finds nothing but an old tattered cloth where the woman was last sighted. It looks like it could just be a piece of roadside trash like a tarp or something. Take another look. Was this item really what her ghost was wearing? There's something over here. Moving around. This was the moment when a YouTuber named Mixed Breed Entertainment gasped in surprise. and turned around because he thinks that he felt the presence of a ghost so near. That's not enough evidence to prove this basement is haunted, but what happens next certainly is. I'll try something real quick. Is there anyone here? What the f The stuffed animal falls over when a ghost is asked to move an object. Did the teddy bear just move? What the f is that? Then a ghost orb is caught on camera, seemingly coming out of the toy itself. It just got really f What the f Okay, so the toy could fall and a particle of dust could fly over it, I suppose. But when the same thing happens a second time, coincidences go out the window. Paranormal is what I think this is. Can you move it again? Oh sh Sure enough, there's another orb when this happens. These two unidentified flying object sightings are eerily similar. Posted on Reddit by GamersGen. These two sightings from Miami and Beijing are comparative. The first appeared in Beijing on February 3rd, 1995. The unidentified flying object hovers as an illuminated yellow disc in the evening sky. After a while, it starts to glide slowly overhead. GamersGen posts a second video in the comments, one which looks similar to the first but was captured on October 20th, 1995. This unidentified flying object was spotted along a freeway. The driver pulled over to capture it hovering near an apartment complex and then over Miami Airport. GamersGen suggests that today, unidentified flying objects aren't seen as often for a reason. His theory? They have become more cautious and further said, they seem to be extremely aware of us observing them, and above all, they don't want to be compromised. What do you think? It makes sense to me. And these two sightings are certainly quite similar. Something unsettling is going on in this haunted house. Published by Mr. Horror in February of 2022, the scary video begins with this mysterious clacking noise. The room is empty and the floor looks like it's covered in dirt or sawdust, or as some in the comments suggest, flour. The clacking continues, followed by a large banging sound. Then footsteps appear as something invisible walks across the floor. Many in the comments note how big the prints are. Others are just glad there isn't a jump scare. To what or who do you think these prints belong? For now, I think it'll remain a mystery. Sometimes paranormal explorations turn up horrific discoveries. YouTuber Mo Sarji uncovered several in this abandoned hospital. While walking through the hospital's hallways, he comes across defunct tech and discarded medical supplies. The younger people that watch my videos, which is a small percentage, um, yeah, this is what we would watch and open up applications and stuff. It's pretty cool. Oh, ew, we got blood 
covered gloves over here. This is disgusting. This room looks like it's been staged by someone before Mo. We got blood everywhere. Holy sh**. Jeez. Okay, this is. I don't want to be in this room. That's gross. On the wall in red is the word leave. Then in the next room. Is that a body bag? Oh. No, that's not a body bag. I thought that was a body bag for a sec. Jesus Christ. No, oh, that's just a mattress. It's so strange though. It's got like these pipes coming down from it. He breaks out the UV light to check out the fluids on this hospital bed. So, as you guys can see, I do have my UV light over here and this is all blood. Holy sh**. There's literally, there's blood everywhere in this room, man. This is unbelievable. I, I did not expect this. I don't know why there's so much blood here, but look at it. Look at how it illuminates. Well, we can't be sure that this is that red liquid of life, this place is by far one of the creepiest abandoned places I've ever seen. As it turns out, nostalgia isn't always a good thing. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Hey There, you are okay, the Redditor explains. So I was going through my old 3DS photos for nostalgia. The reason why I'm posting on this sub is because I'm not for sure if I caught anything in the background. Do you think it's younger me being scared? The video clip shows an empty bedroom. As he starts to scan the room, the video captures a dark room beyond. It's hard to tell if there's a window in that room. However, something appears to move there, or at least a shadow is cast that mimics movements. The camera passes upward to the ceiling, and when it returns to the closet, the shadow and light has changed a bit. But it's the next time the camera pans from one side to the other that the real change occurs. Explain these unknowable shadows. What is going on here? Is there something or someone in that room? No wonder the Redditor was freaked out. If you hear something outside, don't go investigate. You might not like what you find. Published to YouTube in July of 2006, TCAN456 writes, Just watch, but not before you go to bed. Take his advice. In this home video, our friend, who is clearly scared judging by his breathing patterns, looks around his house after hearing something and then heads outside to investigate. He passes a large potted plant as he turns a corner. Nothing appears to be there, but when he turns back, a figure flees from behind the plant and races into the darkness. The cameraman runs after it but quickly loses the creature. He searches along some thick hedges in his backyard and soon faces the plant man again. Instead of searching him out further, he races inside, locking the door behind him, runs to his room, locking that door too and gets in bed. All the while there is banging. <laughs> Although it's not clear where the sound is coming from, the rest of the video is nothing but a black screen, one upon which you keep expecting a jump scare to surface. Don't worry, the fear is over, but my questions about this video remain unanswered. You have probably heard that name, as La Llorona has become quite the legend, especially in Mexico and Latin America, where this video has been getting a ton of attention. This clip, which has been racking up millions of views, appears to be a forest cam video. You can see a figure slowly move across the forest with very slow movements. While many have claimed this is the infamous legend, the flickering effect of the video makes me question the authenticity of it. Nevertheless, even the slightest possibility of this video being real is enough to make it impossible to look away from. What is going on in this neighborhood parking lot? Ben Lewis shared this mysterious security footage to Facebook, which appears to show a semi-transparent child figure watch against the house in the center. A moment later, this happens. Did you see the building's light come on? I agree with many in the comments that say it looks like the child ghost is skateboarding. And apparently the place is said to be haunted by a child ghost named Emily. So I believe this is an open and shut case. A creepy dash cam video from Saudi Arabia shows a woman sitting in the middle of a busy highway. She seems to be stuck in a trance as she stares straight ahead, taking a high beam to the face without looking down or covering her eyes. It's unclear how long she has been here for, or for how much longer she intends to stay. Meanwhile, the driver seems to be having a conversation 
conversation with a young passenger. They don't speak much, but tell me what is being said here during this short exchange, if you can. Just when it seems like they are about to pull around her, the mysterious figure speaks in a shrill voice. Two people approach her in uniform, probably police, and she waves them off. I imagine that they are telling her this is unsafe, but apparently she doesn't want any of their help and seems perfectly content screaming in the street. I have no idea what information could be so important that she feels the need to do this. Some people are saying this is a witch sighting and that she is foretelling a future of some kind. Something possibly of terrible proportions that you and I definitely don't want to come true. No no matter what the situation is, I really hope she gets the help she so clearly needs. There is a powerful figure on this roof, and it's united the villagers in rebellion. Posted on TikTok by Toddy Catalina, this scary video shows a large, dark figure dominating this rooftop. Anyone who dares near it seems to be blown back, either by her power or from fear. Watch. <laughs> All those who try to reach the roof fail, and the figure doesn't seem to be bothered by them. They're even throwing things at the figure, but with one great pop, she disappears. Is this dark magic in the round? I'm not sure if this was a witch or some other mysterious creature, but I am sure she's managed to traumatize these villagers for life. Robert Reddick has been waiting two weeks for this day to come, but now the deep web box has finally arrived and he is incredibly nervous. He contemplates not opening the box at all at first. Then Robert calls over some friends and the three of them dive in. The first thing they notice is a weird stain on the inside of the box, followed by an impossibly pungent smell that nearly bowls them over. They put on some gloves and keep going. Tucked beneath some bubble wrap are two handwritten letters that say I'm sorry repeatedly. A third letter says a single word. Shinigami, which I looked up the meaning of. This is the name for ancient supernatural creatures who were thought to shepherd humans to the afterlife in Japan mythology. There's a lot of weird stuff left to pick through, like a fishbowl that's filled with a bunch of thumbtacks and a single red lighter. There's also a fourth note waiting inside. It is now your turn. Barry, don't burn. It is now you who is cursed. They wish you the worst. And then another I'm sorry note. What are you Boys. I'm skipping past some items here, but eventually they come across a blank letter at the bottom of the box with a rather creepy hidden message. Stop well. Stop well. You, you can. can. It says stop well you can. Stop well you can. They do not heed the warning and eventually happen upon a large plastic bag with something decomposing inside. It's hard to say whether these are just props or a true deep web mystery waiting to be unraveled. I think the three friends appear very creeped out by the end of the video, so it's probably real. But I'd like to know what you think of their reactions. Om is a popular YouTuber from Delhi, India, who for two years has been steadily growing his channel, Om Vlogs. At first, he would do normal things like go to a museum or an amusement park, but about a year ago, he started to get into ghost hunting. Now he goes on ghost hunting explorations all the time, and they are really good. 
Delhi has a population of about 30 million people. So we are talking about a single city with as many people as the whole state of Texas, which means plenty of places to explore and plenty of ghosts to be found. So recently, Ohm Vlogs went to a building that was so cursed he wouldn't say the name of it or where it was, only that it was a restaurant in his hometown where something horrendous happened that made them close down and never reopen. On May 13th of 2020, they visit it for the first time, or at least try to. They don't get far because a presence guarding the area won't let them go inside. They stay at what they mistake for a safe distance and peer in. There's a light that's orange here at 8 minutes and 9 seconds coming from an otherwise dark room. They don't see anything else and chance a closer look. Ohm is talking more about the place when a mysterious shadow descends the wall at 12 minutes and 23 seconds. A minute later, they learn beyond a doubt that something is inside. His friend is standing next to him, so it's not him. They dare not enter, but they stick around for a bit longer. At 15 minutes and 22 seconds, a single pixel goes white while recording a room on the second floor. When they zoom out, the light mysteriously goes away, but not before more black shapes pass over it. By now, it's getting late, so Ohm is wrapping up the video. When he senses something watching him and points out a shadow figure that only he can see in person, it doesn't show up on camera, at least not that I can see, but you should remember this area for later, because things are about to ramp up. Apparently whatever is in there is not happy to see them again. When they return a few weeks later, this time a white robed figure with a demonic head and two horns leans on the brick wall, as if taunting them to try and go in, which they don't notice and proceed to do. They shine their light into a blown out window, and eyes waverly reflect at 7 minutes and 5 seconds. The restaurant is obviously no longer taking reservations. They stand and brace themselves for whatever comes next, and when nothing happens, they decide to explore a few rooms before returning to the main area. As they think about whether to leave or not, a terrible feeling washes over them, and their camera goes out of focus like something is near, and it is. Ohm puts his hand up to shield the group from something they can't see but we can. At 10 minutes and 58 seconds, it's coincidentally standing in the exact same place where Ohm thought he saw something the first time. The building becomes more displeased with each passing moment. But when they go into the room to leave, its guardian is absolutely gone. I guess it knew they were leaving and letting them pass without harm. And I think I heard a fire alarm at 11 minutes and 18 seconds even though the place clearly doesn't have one. I suspect it once burnt down. And what you heard was paranormal residual energy from the event. Ohm never does reveal the location. But there is a comment left by someone who thought they recognized the location and I thought this was interesting. If someone could please confirm that this location is on the Cardinal Bypass Road in Delhi, that would be helpful. And tell us anything else you know about its haunted history. Class is in session at this abandoned school for spirits. The uploader Supernatural Search explains that this abandoned school in Recife, Brazil has become a home for spirits. He writes, several manifestations happened in this place and we're about to witness them. Their EMF meter quickly senses some energy, a surefire sign that something is here. Creepy graffiti on the wall sets the tone as they continue their exploration. When they get another read on their EMF meter, it's accompanied by an unexplained sound. The EMF meter is triggered again as they continue near this rubble pile. They enter this empty room, and one chair sits at the head of it. They hear a faint childlike voice in the room. Wait, 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 wait. 
está abandonado, mesmo ninguém pessoal. Are otherworldly students still attending class here? Or can these energies and strange EVPs be explained? A YouTuber named Vintango says his Xbox might be possessed by a ghost, and a bunch of people in the comments are backing him up. It's opening and closing at random like crazy, and then all of a sudden it stops like it's thinking about something. When it starts up again, one commenter says that it kind of sounds like the ghost is trying to make the Xbox say help me. This video is from 2009, so the console was already up to 8 years old and possibly breaking down. Spirits try to communicate with all sorts of other electronic devices, so I guess an old Xbox is as good as anything. Here's a strange dash cam video from Malaysia that will leave you scratching your head. These motorists are on a dark road when they pass by a woman in a pink shirt once and then again a little farther up the road and a third time, at which point they are noticeably alarmed and speed away, only to run straight into her a fourth and final time. <laughs> Watch the full video and you'll see that they are not driving in a circle. Even if they were driving in a circle, there's no way they could have completed a full lap in the short time it takes for the woman to appear again. Perhaps what's most unsettling about this is how each time the woman's back is turned to them, never once seeing her face. YouTube channel The Haunted Side Paranormal Investigations asks, Would you keep going? But before you answer that, here's some context. In this short video, they were exploring Sutro Tunnel Ghost Town in Dayton, Nevada. Watch and answer for yourself. Watch the door here. Coming on. Whoa! <laughs> And this was only upon entering. If you cross the threshold and this happens, <laughs> would you take a step further? Me neither. Over on the r slash ghosts subreddit, a user named Cam Sunkist shares a video of a home surveillance recording on his front porch while a pizza delivery driver drops off the order at the house. Seems fairly normal right now. But this simple pizza delivery turns into something much more terrifying in just a matter of seconds. Very clearly, you can just hear somebody's voice. It's almost like a whisper, and it, it doesn't seem to catch the pizza delivery man's attention. It's, it's just very bizarre and out of place here. I'll just play it one more time. Just listen very, very closely. Amazingly, it doesn't even seem as if the pizza delivery driver even hears anything, so maybe this bizarre sounding voice was only audible once listening to the recording and not in person. That would definitely explain why the driver has no reaction whatsoever as soon as the voice starts speaking, but I would like to imagine that if he did hear it, he would be a little bit freaked out and would probably quickly drop the order off and leave immediately. One commenter says it sounds like perhaps Spanish and he thinks the voice could be saying, do you listen to me? Of course, this is just speculation, so take it with a grain of salt. But either way, this is one voice you certainly wouldn't want to hear on your security camera. Published by Dark Ghost Paranormal in August of 2021, Dennis set up cameras in a bunker hidden beneath a school, and this abandoned bunker in Germany has some mysteries up its sleeve. One camera captures a door slowly opening. In another room in the school above, Dennis asks for a sign that someone's here, and this is the response. In 
in the bunker. A blast makes Dennis jump. It sounds like it's coming from this box. Later, the light from his camera shuts off and he's left in the darkness. Through the spirit box, the spirits tell him it's a trap. Strange carnival-like music seems to be coming from the spirit box. As Dennis's lights continue to malfunction, he has no escape. The door to the room is locked and he can't get it open. He is in the darkness again with only a lighter to keep him company, while something unknown growls from the shadows. Later, he is told through the spirit box not to come. He finds the previously locked door mysteriously open to him. After racing out of there with his equipment, we can only imagine that he heeded the spirit's advice and never returns, which is a smart call. Jackal365 goes exploring his old creepy attic the day after hearing scary noises all night. One minute and 55 seconds is when something is caught moving on camera. He reaches the back of the attic and strains his eyes in the darkness to see it. <laughs> A face drops down in front of the camera. Apparently the creature was hanging above him the whole time. He could have simply held a mannequin head upside down in front of the camera to create that effect, but his terrified squeal says otherwise. <laughs> a video of a human torso walking upright is probably one of the scariest home CCTV moments I've ever seen caught on tape. The main reason it looks so terrifying is because this is mostly a marionette puppet instead of CGI, which requires more work but looks more realistic. Somebody is most likely pulling its strings from above to make it walk, or at least I hope so. Thomas Hayes has been hearing scary loud sounds lately. Strange scratching noises coming from inside of the wall, right next to where he sleeps at night. Anxiety mixes with fear as he dismantles the electric socket to investigate what's gone wrong behind the walls. And let me tell you, the source of the scary sounds is beyond creepy. <gasps> He tries not to scream as he finds the wall is filled with an endless number of fried insects, roaches to be exact, and look at 30 seconds he absentmindedly flicks one off with his finger. That's not exactly the reaction I was expecting, and certainly not what I would have done, but I guess he was shocked at the time. Speaking of, I can't help but wonder how safe it is to prod around an electrical socket with a screwdriver in the first place. I know he probably turned the power off, but I feel like it could still hold a charge. Someone tell me in the comments. As we all know, ghosts can walk through walls. Here is video proof, published by Full Horror Dose in April of 2022. This scary footage was captured on CCTV in the hall of what appears to be a school building. In one of the cameras, a woman is seen in the hallway. She turns toward the wall and after pausing for a moment, walks right on through it. On closer inspection, there doesn't appear to be a doorway, elevator, or any entry here to explain her seeming disappearance. The way she moves so tentatively is also strange, and her figure vanishes right into the flat surface. What do you think? Is this a real ghost in action? If not that or clever editing, what could possibly be going on in this building? If you're thinking of messing with Bloody Mary, think again. The Shadowhunters team learned this lesson the hard way. In this video, they investigate. After one of their devices is triggered in this haunted place, they mess with the spirits here. They find the word Mary written on a mirror. I was creating one. Tentar filmar certinho aqui. Olha isso aqui, mano. 
then they do what you're told never to do. Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. And she appears. What is this? And they face the consequences. With his friend injured, one of the crew appears to go seek revenge against the demon. But as he tries to, this happens. Do you believe in Bloody Mary? The Shadow Hunters certainly do now. Not everybody in India is a believer of the spirit world. Varun Kati seeks to dispel the legends behind the most haunted places in his home country. One such debunking video of him exploring some spooky abandoned buildings in the woods left him scared but still somewhat skeptical. He goes exploring the abandoned buildings one by one, whistling and taunting for any spirits to make themselves known. Less than 30 seconds later, he gets a reminder as to why provoking the paranormal is a recipe for scary things in the woods caught on camera. A loud moan rings across the treetops, a scary noise from the woods that even Varun has to admit is strange enough to give pause. He gets a really bad feeling that says it wasn't paranormal, just afraid of a wild animal or something, and he gets out of there quickly. I think this brave explorer might be unwilling to admit that he just caught strange and scary evidence of paranormal EVPs caught on tape. He says this could be a monkey, but let me know if you agree. Here's another listen. It sounds like a ghost haunting the woods to me. Either way, ghost or animal, both possibilities sound terrifying. It's spring break and a YouTuber named Chili is kind enough to let her fans visit her at her home throughout the day. Everyone is polite and respectful except for one guest. They're having a normal conversation and he seems fine at first, but then he starts eyeing something off camera a few times. After a while, he just goes for it. Wait, God, that's my, that's my purse! Tito? The purse taker doesn't make it far and is quickly wrestled to the ground by one of Chili's friends named Tito. In addition to the purse, they also find a taken watch that he swiped off of the kitchen counter. Fortunately, he surrenders easily without much of a hassle. They are very forgiving and decide not to call the cops. Let me know if you would have done the same. All in all, I think everyone is lucky not to have gotten hurt. After this experience, I bet Chili is now more cautious about who she invites into her home. Derek Desso Daly finds himself in a darkened cemetery on a 24-hour challenge with some friends. There's only some basic snacks and a small flashlight to split between the three of them, but they feel confident nothing serious will happen. Derek barely gets into the cemetery, and already he hears strange sounds that I don't think can easily be faked. I don't see anything past this room. What was that sound? Hey man, there's somebody walking right there, bro. Where? Derek claims to see someone off in the distance, though I personally don't see anything. Still, he turns off his flashlight and quietly walks away to avoid detection. Other than that, nothing else happens until around 3 a.m., at which point the strange sounds return even louder this time. Yeah, we have a Ouija board and we have a... 
They start playing with the homemade Ouija board and think they see something move in the trees. Then they think they hear footsteps. It's hard to say if they are just being paranoid or really experiencing something paranormal since nothing special is caught on camera. Later though, when they begin chanting a spell to speak with any nearby spirits, I can definitely hear what they are talking about. Eventually, one of them gets separated from the group and is covered in red when he returns. He claims to have fallen, but something about his story sounds off. Yo, what happened? Something fell. Something falling on its own seems quite unlikely, making the claim of paranormal activity even more plausible. Have you ever watched a clip that terrified you so much that you just had to share it with a friend? That's definitely the case for this video, posted to YouTube by Mysterious Things in February of 2020. The footage purports to show an unknown flying object flying in broad daylight above Quebec City. From far away, the figure in the sky appears to be dressed in white and launching upward. Upon closer unfocused and wavering inspection, the unknown flying object does indeed look like a human figure dressed in white. At times its clothing shines luminescent, while the figure spins launching into the sky. When the camera gets in closer and more focused, the figure looks even more dramatic. It appears to be on fire. If that's not in fact Iron Man, as YouTuber Graham Sherwood suggests in the comments, perhaps it could be a meteor headed towards Earth. While other commenters say this is impressive and looks legit, YouTuber Damien Torres is more skeptical, suggesting it looks like silver helium balloons with the sun reflecting off of it. What do you think? Is this just a mistaken balloon? Or do you think this unknown flying object is worthy of some supernatural speculation? Whatever it is, it's terrifying. When you can command a door to open and close, you may just have The Gift, published by the Scottish Ghost Company. In February of 2022, this investigation of an industrial complex turned super creepy. When the investigators' commands were granted, the pair is alone in the warehouse aside from the ghosts. You can hear them communicating via the spirit box in the adjacent hangar throughout the video. The pair approaches a door and asks the spirit to open it if he or she is still with them. Can you open the door, please, if you're still with us? In answer, the door slowly swings open. A moment later, when asked to close the door, the spirit acquiesces, slamming the door shut. Really impressed. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Many in the comments call this activity mind-blowing and wonder if it's real. Is this a portal to another world? Step on through if you dare. Can you open the door, please, if you're still with us? Oh my god. Oh my god. Did you know that man has explored more of Mars and the moon than we've explored the depths of our own oceans? Which leads us to some of the strangest oddities on Earth, including this one. The giant's pyrosome, looking like a large transparent tube slide. A giant's pyrosome is comprised of thousands of identical clones of zooids that form an up to 60 foot hollow cylinder that can be wide enough for a grown man to fit inside. The free floating tube appears like a ghostly discarded piece of see-through fabric known as sea pickles. Giant pyrosomes are bioluminescent, which means you can see them glowing blue-green in the sea at night. Published to YouTube by Ross Overstreet in June of 2018 and supplemented by footage from Luis Bringas in December of 2014, this giant pyrosome off the southern coast of San Clemente Island will send you off the deep end. These videos show the creature in action or rather in action as it floats unobtrusively near the seafloor. What would you do if you crossed paths with this oceanic nightmare? Would you be brave enough to swim through? And more importantly, would you make it to the other side? Paul de Jesus says that he literally quit his security job 
after witnessing this while on surveillance. First a tire rolls into view, which I guess someone could have done out of frame, but then a backpack falls off a chair. It could have been attached to a string, but the video is too low quality to tell for certain, so I'll leave it up to you. A creepy goat stands on two legs and stares ahead with beady black eyes. Reddit is trying to figure out if this is a statue, or is this a live animal trained to be as scary as possible? Its eyes kind of look expressive here at 9 seconds, and its ears somewhat move here, although that could just as easily be camera movement. Is something living in this underground train station? Posted on the r slash ghosts subreddit by Ben Taylor, the scary video shows the behind the scenes nature of the underground at cruise station in the UK. As the Redditor and his friend walk through the station, mysterious haunting noises echo through the underground, like a creature is roaring or wailing, like an animal. The roaring repeats over and over. The boys walk through a fenced-in area and the sound gets louder, but its source isn't any more apparent. <laughs> The sound repeats and then changes a little, causing the cameraman to turn around and hightail it out of there. It stops for a moment but then continues again as they decide to retreat. The Redditor writes, The area was checked for dogs, animals, and even an injured security guard by transport police as the noise was causing the staff to stay away from the area. No dogs, no humans, no pipes were there for the dog to stick its nose in. A howl down and security informed us nothing was found the next day, but the noise returned the next night. One Redditor in the comments, Nullulus, says it might be a small deer species that's an invasive breed in the UK called the Muntjock Deer. Others still think it's an injured dog or a piece of machinery, but the Redditor seems to lean toward the paranormal, as he says other employees have heard strange noises and seen unexplained objects moving. We could make theories all day, but it's only the Redditor and his co-workers who witnessed it in person, so if they're saying it's paranormal, I think that explanation makes the most sense to me. Bill and Lisa have a problem at home that's not the average couple's quarrel. Bill keeps seeing movement in the house, so he sets up an infrared camera system to catch it on tape. This narrow figure glides across their dark doorway at night. Here it is again from another angle, an imp-like figure roughly the size of a child moving towards the stairs. It enters their master bedroom next. It's not tall but looks powerful, and a short while later the shadow figure runs down the stairs and out the door. This is most likely special effects, but there is one reason it could be real. Infrared technology is designed to detect heat, so when something is purple like this shadow figure, it means it's detecting the absence of heat. In other words, the passing chill of something that is in the shape of a human. Bill also claims to have been followed by this shadow figure, despite moving to a new location. So tell me if this video is enough to make you believe him. A YouTuber named Manny Motard is riding his motorcycle through the city when a random person mocks him in the intersection by pretending to grab two imaginary handlebars. When Manny checks his rear cam, he is surprised to see the man wildly chasing after him. The pursuit continues for over a full city block. Exactly what the stranger's intentions are remains unclear, but it's obvious that this complete stranger is trying to chase them down one way or another. He doesn't look to be in his right mind, so it's a good thing Manny got away. 
A YouTuber named JPays57 catches a minute and a half long slew of paranormal activity in a solid white room that's mostly bare. First a paper flies up, and then with no one in the room mind you, a woman's voice says a single word I wanted you to interpret. As for the piece of paper moving, I don't hear the wind and besides that, the paper actually blows towards the window, so that explanation wouldn't really make sense. A toolbox and a closet open at once, which could be coordinated between two people, but there's nobody in the room to pick up the camera and see who's in there. I hear a strange, otherworldly sigh. Do you? It sounds upset and nothing like the woman's voice before. The closet door closes and then the door closes shortly after. Somebody could be on the other side of the closet, but nobody is on either side of the door. I don't see any fishing wire tied around the knob, but I admit it's kind of too far away to tell, so tell me if you're convinced. Security footage shows a man letting his guard down while inside a scary looking warehouse building. Big mistake. One of the chairs moves by itself and he stares at it, too terrified to react. That's when the chair scoots forward again, and then they all fall down, even his own. I can't explain what the mysterious dark figure in the background of this video could be. Hopefully it's not a shadow person silently watching from one floor above. A man makes his way down the street without any clue as to the danger that's about to come straight his way. Everything looks as ordinary as possible. Just another day on Stoke Newington High Street in London. There's no possible way you can predict what's going to happen next in this video. It's way too random. So even if you can tell me what direction the thread is about to come from, then I will be satisfied. He makes it past this cafe at 10 seconds, and literally one second later the entire roof comes tumbling down in a choking cloud of dust and jagged debris. Bricks litter the street just a few steps from where he just was. If he had done anything besides walk on by, like tying his shoes or looking in the window, then he would have been struck down on the spot with no hope of surviving. I mean, it really couldn't get any closer. The heel of his foot is literally still in the shot as the bricks begin to tumble. Only a psychic could have ever guessed the way this video ends. A man was fast asleep in bed when a new type of alarm woke him. Posted to TikTok by Mr. List Paranormal, the man is seen lying on his back. When suddenly he flips onto his stomach, he thrashes around as though trying to escape something. And then that something takes it to the next level. The man's feet are lifted skyward as he continues to try and free himself. At last he is left alone, and then he turns around, gazing forward at nothing. Then then he sits calmly cross-legged, as if in a trance. Many in the comments say this is why you should keep both feet under the blanket, but for others, this video is inspiring. TikToker KM107 writes, I'm so doing this to people. Sounds like he'd be a pretty mischievous ghost. Just outside your door is very rarely a good thing, especially when they're these two fools. Ring posted this creepy video to Facebook in 2017. The video shows two strange men knocking on the front door of a home. The homeowner away at work is able to check in and see the men, whom she doesn't know. When they notice her security camera, the pair suspiciously bolts away. They return to their vehicle and back out of the drive only to, a minute later, return, open the door, and literally try to kick it in. The homeowner, seeing their arrival from afar, attempts to speak to them over the security system, informing them that the cops are on their way. Cops are on their way. After failing to kick the door in, the men return to their vehicle and hastily drive off again. Facebooker Stay Hodgkin notes that these two people wouldn't have been reprimanded for merely knocking, but then they decided to return when they knew a security camera was posted up and committed property damage. Not bright in the least. Ring relays a very satisfying conclusion to this video, writing, Although Kay was at work when these two visitors came by, she was able to share her Ring video with her neighbors online and ultimately confirm their identities. The information was passed along to the police, and they caught the guys. Now that's the perfect example of a neighborhood watch. 
A YouTuber named Charles M is checking out an old house for sale in Las Vegas that was supposedly owned by the Mafia. At one point during the tour, he comes across a fake wall in the kitchen and follows an old set of stairs down to a secret basement. The basement extends for a long time further and further underground, eventually opening up into a long white room that's completely bare, except for cabinets lining the far wall. Connected to this room are two other smaller rooms about the size of a closet. They each give him a bad feeling. The two smaller rooms are dark and soundproof. Strangest of all, the doors only have knobs on the outside. I don't know why the mob would have needed a soundproof room that nobody could escape from and I don't want to know. That's all he finds, hidden inside the ventilation shaft of one of the rooms, is what appears to be a single spent bullet casing. A musical performance tunes up the paranormal apparently. Published by Chloe Fantion in July of 2013. Two men are playing music together in a bedroom, one guitarist and one violinist. They wrap up their song and leave the room, letting their camera roll. Once they've left, a shirt drapes over the shelf, falling down strangely, like there's a body inside. A moment later, items fall from the top shelf, and then both instruments start moving at once. The guitar falls completely off of the bed. Was this duo's music so haunting that it conjured up the paranormal? Or is something even more sinister going on here? A YouTuber named Chevalier Epstein has heard rumors of an old haunted campground that he wanted to explore. At the end of a dusty, forgotten path, he finds some small buildings that are in relatively good shape for being abandoned. Still, the whole situation looks creepy even from the outside. On a bright and sunny day, when they go inside, they find it's been covered in graffiti and feel strangely unwelcoming, so they don't stay for long. Chevalier decides to turn around and take one last look at the campsite before leaving. Apparently, something was taking one last look at him as well. What? That door just creaked open. Oh! Their attention is still fixated on the open door when something much closer makes a noise nearby. I guess it could have been a mouse knocking something over or something like that, but the timing was a little too much of a coincidence for me not to include it on this list. Let me know if you think they really saw the door open by itself or if this was all set up. It's after midnight and a YouTuber named Angie the Green-Eyed Angel is exploring a ghost town that is completely abandoned. She isn't even finished the introduction to her video before weird stuff starts happening. It took me a couple of listens, but I can actually hear the wind whispering her name here. Abandoned ghost town. Hopefully you can see it behind me. I swear, I just heard my name. Apparently, the wind has other things to say as well. Strange noises continue to follow Angie as she sneaks through old buildings filled with spider webs and rotting architecture. After about 20 minutes of exploring, Angie stops and thinks she sees a grayish figure looking back at her. Oh, I don't know if the camera can even see it. <laughs> Footsteps from behind send her screaming into the night. This phantom is ready for high tea. Published in January of 2022, Sylvia C. writes that she was quietly watching TV when her resident ghost startled up the tea kettle. The security footage shows the electric tea kettle in the kitchen, apparently turned on by the spirit. It shuts off and Sylvia enters the kitchen and asks why it put the kettle on. Spirit in the kitchen, what are you trying to tell me? Why did you do that? The spirit answers rudely in response by throwing a pot lid across the kitchen. Some viewers suggest to Sylvia to keep a detailed log of each of the paranormal events she experiences, including the date and time in her response to them. Others suggest having the house blessed to remove the entity. If you were in Sylvia's shoes, 
What would you do? I'd be looking to move as soon as possible. Is this an authentic electronic voice phenomenon caught on camera? Published by Massage ASMR in April of 2013. This video was filmed at a temple in Egypt in October of 2012. The YouTuber's friends shared this footage with Massage ASMR. The short clip appears to have captured a strange childlike sigh while on a temple tour. According to the uploader, there were no children on the tour, which consisted of mostly Australians and South Africans. The voice sounds very out of place, which is why they thought it might be an EVP. Perhaps even speaking ancient Egyptian. Is Cleopatra trying to speak to us? What is her message to the modern world? Or is something else haunting this temple? The answer remains unclear for now. What do you see around this corner? Published by Arte Morbid and originally posted on TikTok by Haunted Wesley E. Manor. This short clip is just one more proof that the manor is truly haunted. In a very dusty chamber of the castle, watch the corner of the arched doorway closely. What appears to be the figure of a small boy with glowing eyes peeks out for a moment before pulling back behind the barricade. He seems to be hiding. Is this a ghost? Or some small kid playing tricks in the castle? Most in the comments think it doesn't look human and call it very creepy. What do you think? I think we are going to be left with more questions than answers for the time being. A YouTuber named Underwater Ireland explores a cemetery on a dreary day. Crows cackle loudly overhead like a warning not to go any further as she treads sacred ground. Underwater Island looks down and notices that all of the markers have a wide gap. I have never seen any cemetery with this problem before, have you? If I didn't know better, it almost looks like the buried have been trying to claw their way out. She sets up some cameras and records overnight, and this is what she finds the next day. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. There! Did you see the flash? And this is the same shot from a different angle. Also, notice how the gate opens here. Okay, so this frowning man wearing a helmet is what the image looks like when the video is stopped. Is this special effects? Or did a spirit really come face to face with the camera moments after opening the entrance? This scary Reddit video was posted by a user named Naval Court, who says he caught a spirit giving his friend's child a hard time while it's trying to rest. First, the child stands up as if he sees somebody enter, or maybe he's even called over. He slowly looks up at something much taller than him. Him, and as soon as he lays his eyes upon it, he falls with force. He sits off and shakes it off, and then something flies by overhead. He even looks over his shoulder and sees it. Some people think the kid is just acting silly, as children tend to do, and maybe even shaking his head to try and stay awake. But I agree with Naval Court that this is weird and could be a ghost like he thought. This surveillance footage was taken from the Helmut Carr College in South Africa. A strange mist appears in the far doorway and slowly morphs into the shape of a girl wearing a long dress. She casually walks into a nearby classroom, as if this was just another ordinary school day, except of course the room is empty and no one is in the building. Even though this is called Helmut Carr College, it's actually just a high school, and this phantom-like figure does appear to be around the same size as an average student. This makes me think it could possibly be real, though I guess they could have just edited this girl into the video if they really wanted to. Not only do you have to worry about pyrotechnic incidents at work, you might have to worry about ghosts as well. 
YouTuber Joey Nike 12 posted this video of a store he claims is haunted in Kingsville. At the beginning of the video, he tells a co-worker, let's go record that room before heading to the haunted room in question. They set a video camera up to record the purportedly paranormal activity that occurs in this room. About three minutes into the footage, you can see a dustpan move ever so slightly, and then not ever so slightly. It falls over and a moment later, the door next to it slams closed. The boys re-enter the room nonchalantly, not knowing the strangeness that has just occurred there. But after coming across this video that went too far, they may not want to enter this haunted storage room ever again. Two workout partners are busy burning calories in an unfinished basement gym when they suddenly realize a third spotter is watching over them. Three. Four. Jay, get down. Just get down, get down, get out. The woman doesn't seem to notice at first as a piece of gym equipment on a chain slowly starts to rise on its own. It twists a little and then quickly rises high into the air. Notice how it drops when she runs away. I personally am not sure if this clip is real. I can see that there is a space between the drywall and ceiling. So someone could be on the other side of the wall, pulling a string tied to a chain. If this is real, one thing I don't understand is why he would stop filming such a strange phenomenon as soon as it starts to happen. Then again, maybe panic took over and they ran away. Or maybe he kept recording for a while and the gym equipment never moved again. A wild dog takes a piece of meat into the corner and devours it in large bites. The dog's ribs jut out and I'm willing to bet it hasn't seen a meal like this in a long time. It's no doubt willing to do whatever to keep this food. And in a moment you're about to see for yourself. The animal tenses up and then charges the camera. At the 6 second mark you can see it appears to chomp the fence in an attempt to get to them. Luckily, the cameraman appears to be alright. Esmeralda Vega is recording her family opening presents on Christmas, but one toy in particular keeps interrupting what should have been a happy family moment. That shit moved again, I'm throwing it across the- <laughs> Maybe someone is controlling this toy from another room, or maybe it's motion activated, but based on their surprised reactions, I don't think anyone is moving this toy on purpose. If anything, the toy seems to move on its own as soon as the camera person mentions it, almost like it has a mind of its own. If anybody recognizes this toy, please let me know what it's called and if it's remote controlled or not. Maybe together we can verify if this video is real or not. This scary video clip captured not just one misty spirit miraculously floating atop the water, but a second emerging from below. Posted to TikTok by Horror Talk, the apparition gracefully glides on the water's surface, only for his brother's head to appear, materializing from the same point in the water. It grows upwards, but we're left to wonder where the pair of spirits wandered off to and from where they came. Some in the comments think this is a weather balloon. Others say it's La Llorona, the weeping woman who roams the waterfront. What do you think it could be? Take a look at this quick clip of another possible shadow person in someone's basement and tell me if you think it's real. If you think it's computer effects, then please tell me exactly what clued you in. I personally see valid arguments on both sides. We've all heard about miracles, but sometimes you just gotta see to believe. So let's see. A Dimensional Paranormal published this video in August of 2016, writing in Spanish, recorded by a person in the chapel of the Saltillo Cathedral in Mexico. The clip opens on the inside of a dark chapel with only a few candles lit and some low lights surrounding the statue above an altar. Low church chanting can be heard in the background. At first glance, a close-up of the statue appears to reveal nothing out of the ordinary. But upon closer inspection, the closed eyes of a statue glare open eerily. Yeah. 
Watch it again. Did it give you chills? Is this a miracle or something else? You decide. Personally, I think it'd be hard to fake with the camera moving so much, which makes me think it's real. This door sounds like a witch and I'm not even exaggerating. Would you be able to live in a house that made this noise? <laughs> People in the comments are saying it's possessed or cursed. I'm not going that far, but I'm just saying that if any part of my house even sounds remotely like this, I'm moving far away. A group of British ghost hunters are walking around the Wilney graveyard in search of paranormal evidence. It's late at night when they apparently find exactly what they are looking for. Pay close attention to the area between the two tombstones or you might miss it. What the f was that? The man's flashlight passes over a tall silhouette that makes him pause. It looks like it could have simply been some shadows playing against the wall, but they light up the entire area, and there's no wall to be found. Let me know if you saw the strange shadowy figure and what you think it could have been. Lately, Louise Paxton has been scared out of her mind while staying alone at her house. She says that every night a tall man dressed in all black stands outside of her door without saying a word. Now he's back. <laughs> she goes to call the police, only to find her cell phone has not been charged. At this point, Louise feels enough is enough, blade in hand. The terrified woman unlocks the door and confronts her stalker for a final showdown. She swings open the door and finds absolutely nothing on the other side. The wind picks up and howls down a cold, empty alleyway. Judging by this video evidence, it looks as though this person is an incredibly sly stalker, in which case I'm sure her problems are only just about to begin. I hope she's alright, but it's been a long time since she's posted anything to her channel. Security cameras often capture things we'd rather not see. This footage posted by Redditor jhood3119 reveals a creepy looking creature ambling in the vicinity of this upstate New York security camera. A friend installed a security camera because his dog kept freaking out for no reason, jhood writes. And it seems the dog was freaking out for a reason. As you can see, a figure passes into view, moving strangely and seemingly wearing a headlamp and holding a flashlight. But then, halfway across the snow-packed yard, the figure completely vanishes, although a flashlight beam still appears at the right side of the screen. What could this be? Will some in the comments of this thread consider the possibility of the supernatural, saying the figure's strange walking and eye shine is creepy and inhuman? but others are not having it. Human or paranormal, what do you think? Based on the dog's reaction, there's definitely something there. A group of friends loudly proclaim their disbelief as a slow-moving object flies across Los Angeles. It's, it's, scary. Hey, it's from a different dimension. It's from a different dimension, one of them jokes, but according to the uploader's own words, they felt a strange energy overwhelm them as the objects passed overhead. The object is really large to be that size. From such a far distance away, it's too big to be a commercial airliner, not to mention perfectly round and solid black. They are able to track it for over two minutes as it grows smaller on the horizon. And just before they can no longer see a thing, it blinks out of existence in a mysterious flash of light. The odd sighting in the sky occurred on October 4th of 2020 and is yet to be properly explained. The uploader says this was from another world and it looks like he might be right. This home surveillance footage from 2009 shows the Jameson family acting strangely on their property in Eufaula, Oklahoma shortly before they disappeared. They can be seen making about 20 trips to and from their house without talking to each other at all. Some investigators even believe they were in a trance-like state. The Jamesons were not seen again for years until hunters found their scattered remains in 2014. No one knows what happened to them because their remains were too decomposed 
use forensic testing. The cause of their demise has never and probably will never be determined. So all that remains of their last days is this videotape. A YouTube channel called Finsk Dashcam is simply a collection of videos from a person's drive to and from work. One upload has thousands more views than any other because of how creepy it is and also because it's difficult to come up with a satisfying way to explain it. So Finsk is driving to work when someone forces him to the other lane. As he's getting closer, he discovers it's an older woman standing in his lane. She remains suspended in this position and does not so much as turn her head to acknowledge him. In fact, we never see her face at all. Does she even have one? Light snow covers the cars, but does not cover her, so she could have not been standing here for long. Still, it is very cold out, and yet not once do I see any indication of her breath. Is she alive? A ghost? Finsk slows down, and I want to say he helps her, but the video ends before we get a chance to really see. This was made in 2017, and no update has been provided, so I guess what happened next will have to stay a mystery. Nobody is sure what the US forces are doing in this 2014 video taken from an undisclosed location somewhere in New Mexico apparently. Soldiers kneel down as a blast rips through the air. It looks like it hits nothing at all but then the edges of the ripple inward to reveal what could be the outline of a giant round invisible creature. Some people are claiming this is simply a drill using new technology we don't know about. Others say that this is not an exercise at all but rather a real desert battle with a creature. Listen to the noise it makes and tell me if you think this is the sound of a passing fighter jet or the terrifying roar of a real monster. Keep your eyes peeled. The shadow people are everywhere. Published by Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations in April of 2020, the team investigates multiple shadow people sightings throughout this video. Here, various shadow figures are seen appearing in multiple pieces of footage from all over the world. A figure on an isolated road in the woods, another in this room was captured on a security camera, one peeking around the corner downstairs, the creepy figure in the bed bedroom. This one crossing before a fireplace at the end of the hallway. This nightmare on an abandoned airplane. And this subtle shadow in the doorway. The figure appears before some lights. This one in the reflection of a refrigerator. Another at the end of a spooky hallway. Yet another near this coffin. And again in front of these spotlights. This one on the stairwell. Another beyond this set of doors and the last on this paranormal investigation. This video certainly seems convincing, especially due to the multiple sightings. So let me know in the comments, do you believe in shadow people? A man named Dubai7 talks to himself while returning to the home he was chased out of to get some supplies. He is trying to grab this container when he is found and cornered. <laughs> The door slams behind him and he runs away. As he is looking into the room he just escaped from, a different door slams shut. And no one is inside the room when he checks. On his way out, he sees what I assume is his old cat watching him. The poor animal is too afraid to come near. It jumps away moments before something unseen chases him out the door. Now outside, he looks over just in time to see the window shutters open and close by themselves way too deliberately to be caused by the wind. This video takes place somewhere in the South American country of Chile during the middle of a street race. A number of cars rush past and soon an animal randomly materializes without making so much as a sound. Watch again in slow motion and it really does appear as though the dog steps out of an invisible portal. You can see its front half emerge first, followed by the torso and back legs. Then again, the blurred edges around the dog's body does look like it could be made through editing. I am not an expert in video editing though by any means. 
So let me know if you think this is real or CGI and how you could tell the difference. A YouTuber named Yara records herself singing in her room when a visitor approaches. Or maybe it's just the sound of her tablet getting put down. You wanna say? She looks down the hallway. You wanna say? It looks like a lock gets popped, but no doors open. There are no footsteps, no one says hello, and then. Yara claims she saw a demon, but that's a lot for me to believe without the physical proof. I will say that those two noises were awfully odd, and it didn't sound like anyone else was with her before they occurred. A YouTuber named Sand General captures the moving shadow of a mysterious creature on tape in the Phoenix Desert late at night. He and his friend are cautiously driving down a dark and spooky country road when their dog starts making low whining noises that they've never heard before. Sand General stops the car and aims his phone camera. This bizarre encounter with an unknown creature is what he catches on video. A roaming shadow that stands out from the scenery is caught mysteriously moving from left to right. It looks like the rather large outline of some kind of desert monster waiting to ambush them. And so they turn around and get out of there fast, which is the right plan in my opinion. I would suggest that this large shadow figure is video editing, except listen to the dog. It's genuinely terrified and trying to tell them that they should be scared too. Ron Stevens is ghost hunting in the haunted attic of the Tilly Pierce house, one of the most haunted places in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. This is where a woman named Tilly Pierce fearlessly tended to those in need during one of the most vicious conflicts of American history. The 15-year-old medic had so many units to watch over that not everyone pulled through, and so ghost sightings in this haunted house are not uncommon. It isn't long before a ghost apparently begins exploring the paranormal equipment they've set up on the ground for it to communicate with, including Bob the motion sensor activated dog, whose nose lights up when anything passes by. That's pretty bright. Yeah, it is. Is someone petting Bob? Can you step away from Bob real quick? They ask the ghost to step away and it immediately stops, which indicates some kind of intelligent presence is with them in the haunted attic. Now touch Bob. Thank you. And soon the ghost is playing with other motion detecting equipment too. There it is again. Oh, thank wow, you. Look how the more paranormal equipment they put on the ground, the more the ghost seems to want to interact. Any Pierces here or anybody that knew the Pierces? One of the paranormal investigators begins listing names that she's researched, and orbs begin to fall as she does so. Did you play with Molly or Margaret? Or Tilly? Followed by a scary scratchy voice that repeats, I did in a demonic tone. And as they are all adjusting their paranormal equipment, one of the creepy dolls moves by itself, and by that I mean falls over, considering they brought this doll out there specifically for the paranormal to attach themselves to. I wouldn't be surprised if this was the moment a doll possession was caught on tape. Here, I wanted to show you these. Why isn't someone turning up the Oh. A YouTuber and his friend are riding a motorcycle throughout the Indian town of Uti when they unexpectedly zoom past a pedestrian clad in ancient looking robes. Watch this part and if you happen to share their language, please translate what's being shouted at the person here. I'm guessing that they probably said watch where you're going or something along those lines. Whatever it is that they said, it must have really upset the other person because after driving in a straight line for about another minute, this happens. <laughs> Why 
They come across the same person as before. Yet yeah, this is impossible because there is no way that the person could have been traveling on foot faster than what they were doing on a bike. Suddenly it dawns on them that they were most likely taunting a spirit and it looks like they actually get off their bike to flee. This video looks very authentic and I'm inclined to believe it is real because there's no added music or sound effects, just raw footage. If anyone is from the town of Uti or lives nearby, let me know if these sightings are common in the area. Or better yet, tell me if you've ever seen something like this yourself. Winter time should be relatively snake free, yet here one is slithering across the ice in the middle of February. The cold blooded reptile somehow crosses the frozen pond and then moves towards the camera with slow determination. I'm not sure what type of snake this is or how it's able to survive these low temperatures. My guess is it was probably hibernating somewhere and got disturbed, but either way, a snake of this size is nothing to mess with no matter what the season. This video was taken somewhere on Kent Island in Maryland. If there are any more winter snake sightings in this area, then I'd say something strange is definitely going on over there. Daniel lives way out in the country. And rather than paying someone to remove the leaves around his house, he chooses to burn them instead. He stands at the edge of a controlled fire and takes this quick video. <laughs> oh yeah, a lot far. Oh yeah, a lot far. Off the distance, a two-legged creature about the same size as Daniel sprints away in the opposite direction as fast as it can. Keep in mind that Daniel lives out in the Oklahoma wilderness and has no neighbors. I really can't think of any forest animal that looks like this, so maybe the controlled burn accidentally flushed out a rare humanoid creature. With no other footage of the creature, we will probably never know what it truly is. When unexplained shadows fall, your only recourse is to search for an answer. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit, Sammy Sam 1870 writes, It was 2.06 a.m. and there was no one walking around, nor were there any cars in sight when this mysterious shadow strolled across my security camera. The following day, I tried to figure out where it could have came from, but found no explanation. The security camera footage shows a black shadow cast upon the ground, moving across the screen. As the Redditor explains, nothing visible in the area is casting the shadow. So do we have a shadow figure on our hands, or is this just a bug caught at a weird angle? A YouTube channel called Exploring Mysterious India is at an abandoned house that was once occupied by five families. Since then, it's rumored to become so dangerously haunted that not even squatters will take their chances. The group worries about snakes in the leaves and thorny forest vines, but the real danger is already watching them from afar. While searching for an entrance, they find this rope tied in a perfect knot next to a water well that looks deep enough to easily hide a body. They find this discarded cross on the floor. Perhaps it was flung from the hands of someone who tried to cleanse this place long ago. A smeared red handprint on the wall gives the impression that no one stays here for long. Long. Sometimes you don't have to catch a spirit on video to convince me that a location is haunted. Between the rope, the well, the handprint, and the cross, I think I have enough evidence to make up my mind on this one. A TikTok user named He Watches When I Sleep records a ghost wailing up and down his street in the middle of the night. He lives in the southwest and is sure it is the spirit of La Llorona, the vengeful spirit who hovers over water late at night. You can hear some other dogs in the background though, so I'm wondering if this was just a really old dog trying to howl. Just like lights. Some sort of paranormal activity.
This gym could be haunted according to Coach Megan, who is making a video of her backhand spring when she sees what she describes as a little blue light on the speaker, almost like a camera flash except she is by herself, so nobody could have taken it. Two seconds later, a floating white anomaly travels towards her in the mirror and then mysteriously disappears, only to resurface two seconds afterwards as a strange white light streaking down from behind. After reviewing the evidence, I honestly can't tell if this scary moment is a camera glitch, edited, or truly paranormal, but since the video is pretty good quality, I think it's probably more likely real than not. Anything that's gonna scare you is just like lights. Some sort of paranormal activity. This kayak is surrounded by water for miles, and yet a tiny head or tentacle or something pokes up directly ahead and then goes back underwater. Maybe it's a beaver or a turtle, but the way it stays just out of sight but in their path is really weird. This statue is said to move her eyes repeatedly. Thousands of people flock to see it and some are saying that it happens here in this video. One person thought it might be blinking here. I definitely see it as well. Another person says her left arm moves. I don't see it. And I think those who do probably are getting fooled by unsteady camera work in my opinion. Still, thousands of people have visited this statue because apparently it moves. So maybe I'm the one who's wrong. After multiple nights of getting no sleep and experiencing a deep sense of dread, this person sets up multiple multiple cameras to record exactly what happens to them at night. When they check out the cameras the next day, they find this strange encounter. A faint shadow appears to linger above them for a moment before fading away. It has an unnatural shape and almost seems to reach out at them. This video could be fake because this person was sleeping with their lights on, which is strange. But then again, maybe they were just trying to make sure there was plenty of light to catch the ghost on video. Some people have even suggested that this person was having an out-of-body experience during REM sleep. Yet another Randonautica exploration turned scary. Posted to TikTok by Autumn Johnson, this two-part series will keep you on your toes. Autumn writes that the app first took them to a dirt road leading deep into the forest. At the destination, they searched around only to find the roof of a house sticking out of the ground. When they looked inside, they discovered it was a Native American spirit house. The Ojibwe housed the graves of those passed away in stone structures. Their houses are built to honor their families and offerings are made there. These traditional spirit houses are, more or less, simply grave sites. Some TikTokers remark that it's important to respect these sacred grounds, and that's for sure. TikToker Jack of All Trades writes, So long as you didn't touch anything, you should be okay. But if you did, I'm so sorry for you. Is one of America's greatest presidents still roaming the earth? YouTuber Soul Searching thinks so. She visited President Lincoln's tomb at the Oak Ridge Cemetery in Springfield, Illinois. The place is said to be haunted. Let's see if it is. Right away, Shannon gets a response to her inquiries. Walk up to me. Ooh, I heard a noise. Was that you, Mr. Lincoln? I heard a noise. When she asks the spirit to knock, Can you knock on this? There we go. It answers a moment later. Unless there's construction going on inside the tomb, I don't know what would explain the knocking in response. My thoughts are that Lincoln's spirit remains here. Is this streamer signaling to followers that she needs help? Her followers think so. Shared by Krusty Krab, TikToker Ellie here 01 posted this live stream by user 10101010107. Although there is no context, she looks slightly distressed in the video. But what viewers are really focusing on is the hand signal she appears to flash. So, 
just to clarify, no more screen recording videos or... Did you see that? Watch closely. Many in the live chat observed the woman's signal, as you can see in the comments running across the stream. So, um, just delete it all, it's all fine. Everything's okay. You said to go live, so I've gone live. I've gone live, everything's fine, just saying. So. The young woman looks disturbed, and when one person types, say yes if you aren't okay, she responds. <sighs> If anyone has further information on this video, please share it in the comments. This mystery is nothing short of terrifying. What happens when you're stuck at McDonald's during an earthquake? You record it, of course. When he quickly snapped up his Android phone to capture this crazy quake at the local McDonald's, taken at a location in California. In the video, you can see the overhanging light shaking and swaying. The clip is short and to the point, but it reminds us that nature can and will attack anywhere and everywhere it pleases. There's a famous pub in Sydney, Australia called the Carlisle Castle Hotel. For years, this local watering hole has been haunted by the ghost of Old Pete, a bitter ex-employee who left the earth quite some time ago, but not his job. His ghostly antics have been caught on camera no less than three times. The first time Pete was caught on tape, he was helping a customer. The unsuspecting man opens the door to the cooler when Pete decides to grab two bottles of red wine for himself. His ghost grip must have not been too tight though because both bottles go crashing to the floor. Looking at the footage, there's no way that the shelf gave out or anything like that. The bottles were thrown to the ground with deliberate force with no one nearby. Another incident occurred when the bar was full of witnesses. Everyone is happily enjoying themselves when a hanging red wine glass suddenly dislodges itself and smashes into the counter. Glass shards fly everywhere and the entire bar takes notice. Although this could have simply been a freak accident, what are the chances that, of all the red wine glasses, the one that's directly underneath the server happens to be the one to fall and break? The timing is almost too perfect to be a coincidence. Old Pete strikes again. The third and final tape reveals a glimpse of Old Pete himself. The bar is empty this time when the angry ghost suddenly materializes in front of the security camera. If you look closely, you can make out Old Pete's head at the bottom of the screen. He appears to be waving. Many other bartenders and customers all claim to have seen Old Pete for themselves in one way or another. It isn't uncommon for tapes to turn on by themselves, and the bartenders have seen what they can only describe as strange things while counting down their registers after close. To make this all even stranger, all of the bottles that go crashing to the floor are always high-end red wines. This just so happened to be Old Pete's favorite drink, at least when he was still with the living. On 3830 McMahon Road sits a lone white house which, at first glance, looks rather unassuming, but is actually a source of otherworldly evil, a place so foul that not even two separate exorcisms could fully cleanse its walls. Over 800 Native Americans are said to have lost their lives in the surrounding hills against federal forces, many of whom are thought to be buried under the Hinsdale House, fueling its foundations with anger. And that's just the beginning. Sometime in the 1800s, two outlaw brothers used this New York property as their sick trophy room. They would go after stagecoaches and left behind no witnesses. The bodies were mostly kept in the attic or left in the basement without a care. Outside, more lives were taken over the years at a pond and also at an old tree at just the right height for a rope, which was later struck by lightning. Nowadays, the heavily haunted Hinsdale House has become a location for ghost hunters like John and Amanda of Elevated Vlogs to explore whatever secrets lie within. John and Amanda are amateur ghost hunters without much paranormal experience, so their reactions are about as raw as it gets. Their night begins with a tour from the house's current owner, a man named Daniel Clays, who spared this house from getting demolished in 2015. He seems to have formed a truce with the spirits in return for saving them. The way he talks about his experiences, the more activity their camera catches around him. There's definitely something that's sinister, maybe darker, that comes out once in a while. 
But it, you, your best thing is to just ignore it and move on and go do something else. We were just standing in the kitchen and we had a camera on ourselves and, and uh, they were talking about the exorcism this, exorcism that. And Daniel leaves them to explore the house on their own. And just kind of do a little explore before we sit down anywhere and... Did you hear that? They also hear this noise, the sound someone makes with a hand over their mouth. But he said he has experienced somewhat of a something dark here. Experience, experience. They enter the room of Mary Dandy, the youngest daughter of a family who lived here during the 1970s, and find bugs on their backs, legs up an odd characteristic that the room has become known for. An entity has attached itself here, something foul enough to attract flies and send them lifelessly to the floor without its presence. Or maybe these flies were placed here by Daniel to fool John and Amanda. Either way, the activity only seems to increase ever since standing in Mary's room. I think something runs ahead of them down the stairs into the basement. Maybe the final steps of someone trying to get away during a terrible event. Most people that check this place out will come with a team. Oh yeah, I'll go down first so you can show them this really cool... Did you hear that? What was that? And when they try to communicate with it, a scared little girl's voice comes across the airwaves. Are you okay with us staying here tonight? They decide to head back into Mary's room. Again, their spirit box picks up the same crying girl as before. Are you okay with us being in this room? Can we sit here? And this is the third time they pick up her voice. Definitely the same girl the whole time. Are we safe? She's following them from room to room, and maybe behind her is the sinister force that Daniel warned them to stay away from. They decided to check out the attic before they get too scared. Remember what I said about the attic earlier? Sure enough, John feels a strong hand wrap his arm to pull him forward, followed by a supernatural confirmation from a gruff male voice. Dude, I'm not even playing, man. Did someone touch John's arm? Like, no lie, it felt like there was just something rat like a, a, a... Dude, that sounded like, yeah. They flee downstairs to regroup and find they can no longer leave. Something's outside. John! Oh my I god. I literally heard something outside. I'm not even messing around. Dude. You hear that, dude? No, I know. It sounded like metal ting. I don't hear it, but I do see it. Look again, it's a ghost caught on live stream. And even though I didn't hear it earlier, I do hear chains rattling during this part when they get closer to the door. What's that noise? There's nothing left to do but wait it out in the Hinsdale house. After a night of fitful sleep, they decide to explore the hillside before getting out of there fast. They're still afraid from yesterday's events, but it's their job as paranormal investigators to keep going no matter what. So with their spirit box out, they wander into the woods. Within minutes, they record a voice. I hear three words. I need help. Then they hear a familiar voice, the same one responsible for grabbing John's arm in the attic. We're coming into the darker part of the woods here. Would somebody like to speak with us? Oh. oh. Yep. That was definitely a male voice. And this part is either Amanda's voice edited in, or else somebody is humming a creepy tune right next to John. <laughs> The forest is dark and cold. I agree with John that this is a different language. We're in the middle of the woods. There's no, there's no uh, electrical display. They come to a part of the woods that's particularly eerie for no reason at all. It's just a feeling they both have. That's when they realize the reason for their fears could not be directly underfoot. Did you die here? 
The thought of communicating with the other side has always made me uneasy, but speaking with someone while standing on their unmarked grave, as elevated vlogs seem to have done, takes that uneasiness to a whole other level. Muna Bruzan bought this strange and creepy doll at an antique sale after she felt its eyes watching her. Now the doll apparently continues to do so as their connection grows stronger over time. Here you can see her pick up the doll to admire her. When the doll apparently comes to life, huh? you can hear Muna cry out in surprise as the doll turns towards her and flutters its eyes. I have no idea how this could have happened, since both of her hands are nowhere near the doll's head when it turns to face her. When she puts the doll back down, it seems to understand that she is done playing and thoughtfully turns its gaze outside the window. This one will get you all kinds of nervous. According to the video, paranormal events have occurred in Guadalajara, Mexico, when a tourist was visiting the cathedral where the saint lays, the young child's eyes opened. According to the website, La Oscura Habitación, the video was taken on December 12, 2012. The tourist who took the video footage on his cell phone claimed that he hadn't witnessed the child's eyes open at the time, but only saw it afterwards in viewing the video. The stories of how this saint became martyred are contradictory. Some stories call into question whether this is even the saint as it's stated that all the reliquaries that remain of her are her skeletal hands. Whether this is the saint or not, the mystery begins and ends here. The girl is clearly past, has been for many years, and yet she's opening her eyes. Everyone has a smartphone nowadays. This means that at a moment's notice, any scary encounter with a stranger can be caught on video with the press of a button. YouTuber Savage Squad 1 published one of these scary stranger encounters in November of 2016. He wrote in the video's description, Sorry if I didn't film the whole thing, I was running. Running from what? The footage starts in the middle of things and shows a group of teenage boys gathered on top of a children's toy at a park. A woman is seen approaching them in order to confront them. One of the boys apparently had said something rude so rude that she felt the need to threaten him with a knife. Although the video didn't capture the entire encounter, it appears as though one of the boys said something about how he himself was raised. He badmouthed his upbringing and his parents. The woman mentions this and then says to remember that people carry knives. Are you gonna hide? Are you gonna stay up there? <laughs> God, you were raised pretty bad, weren't you? I don't think so. Would be, so. Yeah, so remember that people carry knives. I didn't. And when you keep talking about your own parents. And she pulls out her little switchblade to remind them. But once it is out, the video ends. We don't know if there was a big showdown or not, but from what the uploader said, the kids ran away. Can you blame them? John T. Taylor TV documents an old abandoned house from the late 90s that is in a total state of disrepair. There's no saving this house, but there also may be spirits inside who have no interest in being saved as well. As he takes a final look from outside, John T. Taylor records what could be two pairs of eyes staring at him from behind a desk and collapsed section of wall. Are these really eyes looking from deeper within, or could they be a series of tiny holes in the far wall with pinpricks of light shining through. I think I might see the bottom set of eyes blink at the 4 minute and 46 second mark, so I think I might have the answer. He turns around, goes back to civilization from where he came from, none the wiser about this potentially up and close and personal chance encounter with the other side. YouTuber Anonymous Web brings us this scary video in what appears to be an abandoned home. A hooded djinn creeps past in the hallway, and he's about to light it up. Did this djinn create the fire, or was he created by it? I think we just witnessed the birth of a djinn. 
while house sitting for his aunt. Reddit user Notel4117 saw something on a nanny cam that freaked him out. First, he shows us the room in question. So this is my aunt's son's room. Right. There's no one in here. Nothing. Then he shows us what he saw. Right on the monitor here. Tell me that doesn't look like someone standing in the room. Like. Does it look like something standing in the room to you? Like I've I've checked, like went back and forth three times, and I He even does a side-by-side -side to try and make sense of it. So, okay. Nothing, right? Like, what the f He then sets up the monitor, grabs a ball from another room, and throws it in there to see if anything changes on the monitor. Definitely something in there. The mysterious figure is still there. Many in the comments think the T Rex and other items in the room may be casting shapes that create the shadow figure's form. Like others in the thread, I'm thinking it's probably a shitty nanny cam that doesn't capture shadows in their subtleties. So many objects in the room are coming together to make what looks like a figure. After all, the camera did make the T-Rex look like a terrifying baby. Don't believe in unknown beings? What if one strolled right up to tap on your window? This unknown being footage, posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by 77 Curen, will inspire you to take a trip over to Area 51. The footage shows an unknown being approach the window of a home. Its features are quite clear, with black gashes for eyes and an elongated cranium. You know, the kind of features you might expect from an unknown being. The unknown being stands there, peering into the home observing. It even looks as though it's trying to find a way to open the window. If that is indeed what it's doing, it doesn't succeed, instead slinking off, perhaps to find the homeowner to take him. What do you think of this unknown being footage, real or fake? Either way, I'll be locking my windows tonight. Elliot Mosqueda has a motion sensor cam in his living room that at first glance appears to go off for no reason. Look at the television though to see someone crossing the room. I can see the black reflection of this square poster in the television. So it definitely really was the same background. The question is if it's real or edited. While investigating this demon house, YouTube team KBC Cazadores de Fantasmas encounters a real life demon. In the wilderness, they start to get a wild EMF reading. Then they break out a thermal camera and capture this. Grace, Grace, cuidado, Grace. And they later captured the devil in their spirit box session. O diabo. Paulo Sermon. Pedro, que esperto, Pedro. They also take a photo in which something spooky is captured. These are just the grounds of the demon house. I feel that there's definitely something haunting this property, but we'll have to tune into the final episode of the series to find out. 
What is it about seeing a ghost where you least expect it that sends the most unnerving chills down your spine? Posted by Leo Alcala213 to the Chills Narrator subreddit, a group of boys are outside at night when they spot this small figure far away cast in shadows. At first, they see him standing in front of a lit building. Later, the figure is captured in front of another building. From afar, the shadow looks like a youth, standing still. The cameraman says it looks like a figurine, although it doesn't appear to be moving. In a later clip, the figure is gone. Although some in the comments say the whole thing looks staged, Redditor Gemincini writes, Staged or not, it's creepy AF. Extra Serenity adds, you should go back and see if it's still there. Don't think I would heed this advice. If you were a fan of Tales from the Crypt, this scary video is right up your alley. Published by Proving Demons in October of 2021, this video welcomes you to the land of the no longer living. When they arrive on site, the first thing that greets them is a cemetery. Oh. oh, it's a cemetery. There's a cemetery here. Navigating through brambles down to a lower entrance, they arrive at a barbed wire fence. It's clear that the owners didn't want anyone getting in here. They have to walk through the barbed wire to get to the door. Having traveled five hours to explore this site... Oh, please God, let it be open. We've traveled five and a half hours. At last, they arrive at the door and are thankfully able to open it. Wandering through the old church, they encounter several crypts. More open crypts and coffins are found at the end of the hallway. While well water floods the floor, a human skull is in one open coffin and there is human hair still on it. Oh, no. Come here. No. Oh, Education. Oh, oh. So, I want to point out, just sign a light on it for me. There's still hair on its head. Still got teeth. Obviously, oh, that's rotting brain in there. As he's prodding the skull head, they think they hear something down the hallway. Oh. What? What's wrong? Examining the skull more closely, you can see it still has human hair and teeth. As they're talking about how it felt like someone was walking behind them, someone shushes them from what sounds like the corner of the room. Really? Okay. What was that? What? The shh. Somebody just shushed us. It seems this team of urban explorers has disturbed the peace. All I know is I would never be going back to that place. Since they're all around us, Will you be brave enough to fight when you encounter them? In this video, a man is standing in a dark alleyway when another man to his right appears. Figures also seem to be standing around him in the darkness, out of sight of the camera. As you can see vague flickers of movement, suddenly he's at the mercy of these figures. But the movement is not human, but like a hurricane force. He's thrown to the ground and the force disperses. Then the other full-figured man in the video grabs him. Before heading back into the adjacent building, it's almost as if there's water on the ground. As the man tries to move, there's a ripple effect. Then he is dragged by his feet by the unknown force off camera. The rippling continues for a moment before going still, but the stillness is brief. When the other dude returns to the alleyway, looking upon the scene, he suddenly rushes back into the building as something huge is thrown in after him. It's not clear if it's a person, place, or thing. A moment later, a figure wearing a long black cape and a hat leaves the building. A window shatters beside it as the figure departs. What in the world is happening here? Any theories? I feel at a loss when coming up with a rational explanation for these happening. A YouTuber named High Gear and his friend are riding dirt bikes in the Russian woods when one of them almost gets their head taken clean off. His friend ducks just in time to avoid a steel cable that's been stretched tightly between two trees. The tripwire would have done some serious damage if he hadn't moved out of the way. They think it's a trap set by some psycho lurking in the forest. 
You can hear the anger and disgust in his voice as he talks about what they should do next. He even talks about hiding in the woods for a while and getting revenge on whoever returns to the spot. Ultimately, they decide to simply disarm the trap and take the wire cable with them. If this video is real, then whoever set this trap must still be out there waiting for their next chance. So I hope High Gear and his friends stay safe out there. German ghost hunter Cubanito goes exploring an abandoned haunted house for one of the scariest 3am videos I've analyzed in quite some time. The haunted house has long been abandoned in the woods. Getting inside is quite a chore because an unsafe wooden ladder is missing many steps. Inside is a dark and heavy feeling that makes them whisper nervously. A missing section of wall shows a hidden room under the steps. They hear a loud noise and run outside, but they didn't come here to get scared off in the first few minutes so they continue the 3am paranormal investigation and go in. This time they manage to get upstairs and come to a door painted solid black at the end of a long dark hall. They are beyond freaked out but nobody wants to quit, so against their better judgement they open the door. In this decrepit little bedroom they find a warning written on the dresser. I feel like it's a warning about a ghost, but the Google translation is so off that I won't even bother telling you what it says. If any of my German subscribers could tell me what this means, I would really appreciate it. The second word definitely looks like stop. They start to prod the door open but cannot bring themselves to. It's probably for the best. Who knows what was in there? Probably nothing good. There's one room left to check out on the top floor. This room looks like it's seen a lot of party action. It might even still be inhabited by some. They start to worry about the floor breaking and that's when it might actually start to... A snapping noise sends them all running out of the house before their 3am challenge becomes a 3am rescue. What should you do when the Ouija board answers you? Published to the r slash ghosts subreddit, Nepa Smash asks viewers their thoughts on this scary video, which was filmed during a Ouija board session in a haunted room of their home. In the clip, the group asks if any spirits would like to communicate. After a moment, there is an alarming bang off screen. Are there any spirits that would like to communicate with us? Two of the boys look up. Right before the bang, however, another mysterious action unfolds, but it's hard to see if you don't know it's there. A paintbrush is thrown across the room. Although it's difficult to tell in the video, this Imgur photo shows the incident in more detail. Many in the thread think a non-supernatural explanation might be that the guy laying on the floor off to the right could have played a trick on the other somehow, but some note that he doesn't even seem to react. As for the knock, well, the combination of the knock and the projectile does seem uncanny. Setting the rest aside, Redditor Ikikum draws the right conclusion. Please tell me you closed out of the Ouija board after that. Who knows what might have happened if they didn't. Published to YouTube by Proving Demons in May of 2020, you might want to call your local exorcist after watching this video. The uploader explains that the house they entered is known to have been the site of an exorcism, and they were exploring it to capture paranormal activity. He writes, while experiencing heavy poltergeist activity, I could feel the demon inside trying to possess me as it did the previous owner, who is now insane in a mental institution. From that point, our ghost hunt took a turn for the worst. Let's take that turn with them. After hiking up to the abandoned building and entering through a crawl hole, the crew finds the inside looks like a surreal art shed. Colorful paper lanterns hang, arrows are pointing every which way. All natural light in the place is framed by gothic windows. At first, the general aura of the place is curious rather than creepy. 
There are lots of scraps of paper posted to a board, a large map, a guitar hanging on one wall. As one YouTuber Lavender Rainbow points out, there's a pamphlet on the wall. Later in the clip at 16 minutes 29 seconds that reads, Bipolar Disorder Survival Guide. So maybe the person living here was trying to seek psychiatric help. You find yourself wishing you were there, so you might examine things up close and learn more. But then the crew hears a woman screaming. They head towards a back room, with one of the dudes mentioning that they hadn't even made sure they were alone in this building. In fact, the building looks very lived in, not abandoned. There's what looks like a bed in the next room with blankets on it, a full backpack beside it, clothes hanging. Are they alone? He continues into the next room, hearing others inside, but it turns out just to be his own crew. You can hear a lot of sounds and things moving, like there are animals on the roof. Next, the door closes behind him by itself. They use the EVP to see if anyone's there in the home with them. The quick reply is yes. They also hear the words demon, as well as a warning, get out now. The demon tells them they have no right to be there. Andrew says he's starting to feel affected and his hands are shaking. And moments later, something falls off the shelf. Even scarier are the Polaroids that they find of what appears to be an authentic exorcism or ritual of some sort. What do you think went on in this makeshift cathedral of a home? A possession? Would you feel comfortable in the demon's skin? Will and Weston have been seeing a strange man walking around their house for a few days now, and they are determined to get it on camera so that people will finally believe them. This time, when it comes around again, the two split up and start recording. You know what? What was that? Well! Weston captures the giant dark outline of a man and goes off running to find Will. They both seem more excited than scared, which is strange, but I guess that could be a normal reaction considering they have seen this person for days and have not been harmed. This could definitely be someone messing with them, but there's something about the overall pace of the video that seems real. Here's another picture that Will caught to further verify the story. Whoever it is, hopefully they stay in the woods and comes no closer to their home. If you've ever been down a mine shaft, you know how eerie it can be. So imagine hearing these sounds while you're down there. YouTuber Retro Electroville published this footage in June of 2011 of a mine shaft in Delzura, California, in the Mine Canyon area, writing We come across an open shaft with creepy sounds coming from it. Creepy is right. I think it's I think it's on the right. The sound is a strange hissing noise that seems to be coming from deeper within the shaft. Of course, whatever is making the creepy hiss is out of view, so we can only guess as to what the source might be. Is it a phantom? A pile of snakes? Despite knowing the true source, the sound still gives us goosebumps. A while back, we analyzed a scary video posted by this individual, and it seems like his house hasn't gotten any less haunted since then. If anything, the paranormal activity has moved on to his daughter. Let's try to make sense of this scary CCTV footage. Something rolls the ball at her. She rolls the ball back and it stops abruptly like somebody caught it. Please tell me it is a remote control ball because otherwise it looks like their child has attracted a paranormal pal. Or maybe, as unlikely as it sounds, she is manipulating the object somehow. I don't know what this is, but it's really bizarre and I can't stop thinking about it. A TikTok user named Dixon83 catches a paranormal experience in the kitchen, which he had suspected was haunted for some time. His suspicions are confirmed when his cat trots through and the closest cabinet door swings open by itself, followed by what I think is a heavy exhale. His cat is definitely looking directly into the cabinet at something unseen. Tell me what you think it was. 
This video was harder to find than a PS5 before a school teacher in Swinton, Louisiana apparently leaked this creepy CCTV video of an alleged ghost sighting at 3.30 a.m. The video shows a spectral pair of eyes floating in midair shortly after the alarm system goes off. I want to know whether or not this ghost sighting could actually be a cobweb up close. With that said, the reason this video is so creepy is because this school has an advanced infrared security system. I don't think a spider web would be enough to set it off, but maybe some security camera experts can chime in and let us know. Published in July of 2020, the Urban Ghosts Urban Exploration Team took the Randonautica app on a wild ride intended to lead them into places unknown. But somehow, for this team, the random destination was all too familiar. The app wound up taking them to a haunted cemetery that they'd explored two years prior. Joe explains that this is a bike park winding back into a cemetery deep into some heavy woods. During their last visit, they'd been scared out of it by what they thought was a bear. At one point, while looking at a grave in the fenced-in cemetery... These are so old. I can kind of make it out. <laughs> Whispering is heard in the background. All of Patty's batteries, which were fully charged, are now completely empty. When they fire up the spirit box, the spirit immediately says the name Joe. When asked if there's something they're supposed to find here, the spirit answers, Near you. Joe feels like they're being watched. They keep hearing a man's voice coming from all directions. Rob, who's taking still images, also captures strange mists that appear in only some photographs. But the scariest find the team discovers in this haunted cemetery is a jewelry box on the ground. After misplacing it, they speak to the spirits through the spirit box again to see what's become of it. The spirit says, Curtis. <laughs> Later, they happen upon the carved jewelry box which has somehow been placed ahead of them on the path and find the inscription Curtis carved into it. Who is Curtis and what's in the box? These questions are going to keep me up all night. This woman claims that she would go to bed at night only to be woken up by strange noises and left with the unshakable feeling that she was not alone. When she sets up a camera to record some evidence, she finds this bizarre footage the next day. Imagine watching yourself trying to sleep while this figure haunts your dreams. At one point, the supposed phantom appears to be lunging at her. She says that she believes she was still awake during this point and remembers seeing nothing. Only when the contrast on the video was enhanced did anything become visible. YouTuber Joey Official is staying in the Haunted Queen Mary in room B340. Watch what happens next. Room B340 has significant paranormal activity dating back to 1967. Not only does the activity not look staged, but I'm sold that this place is haunted based on their sheer terror. It's almost 3 a.m. and Sean Tharp's girlfriend is heading out to work a late night shift. Soon she is calling her boyfriend, screaming about a man walking towards her. She claims the stranger was wearing no coat in absolutely freezing cold weather and came straight at her without a word. Sure enough, at approximately 33 seconds into this doorbell cam video, I can see a semi-transparent figure stomping towards her car at a high rate of speed, then it turns around and abruptly disappears. 
If you don't know what I'm talking about, then watch this street lamp get covered briefly by the person's hollow outline as a reference point. When a drone drifted over the residential area in Overland Park, two boys on bikes spotted it overhead, and that's when they jumped off their bikes to have a go at it. You can see one of the kids pick up something, which is presumably a rock, in order to ready aim and fire at the drone, but it's much too high to actually knock it down. The kids follow it for a while, but don't come close enough to truly threaten it, although they do make a valiant effort to do so, chucking a rock or two its way. Eventually, they give up, but the drone doesn't. It continues to follow them for a good eight minutes, with the boys getting fed up enough every now and then to stop and throw more rocks. Certainly a scary encounter for both parties involved. This YouTube video posted by a user named Relly Kane doesn't have a source, but he claims it happened somewhere in Vermont. The creature looks a lot like the rake, except there appears to be two long and possibly razor sharp arms jutting ahead to support its weight as it moves. The legs look very small and unnatural at 14 seconds in, and at 42 seconds, you can see its arms are way too long to be a human. However, at the 55 second mark, it looks like it could possibly be someone in a costume, leaning on two walking sticks. So what do you make of this? A YouTuber named Lothvan hears a knock at 4.30 in the morning. This has been going on for quite a while, and he's finally had enough, so he grabs his camera and heads out. He films the outside scenery for a bit and catches nothing but crickets chirping under a night sky, or so he thinks. He looks at the video later and notices a small white face peering back at him from the shadows. Lothvan is now convinced that this is proof of how Slenderman stalks him and haunts his dreams at night. I'm curious as to whether or not you think someone was really there, or if this all sounds made up. A YouTuber named Exploration Unknown is rummaging around a 200-year-old cemetery when they notice something observing them off in the distance. Who's that? I see some lights through the trees over there. Something's coming. Dude, we need to get the out of here. At first, it looks like some native wildlife, but when the strange light changes from yellow to red, they know these can't be the eyes of an animal. There's a light coming right there. It's moving through the woods. I don't know. It's right where we need to go. It may not be the fastest chase ever recorded but Exploration Unknown is still effectively driven out of the area nonetheless by these strange flickering lights. Let me know what these color changing lights could have been because I honestly have no idea. A person checks their CCTV to catch whoever busted their side view mirror. It's on the sidewalk side and therefore absolutely couldn't have been a car. The video does not end at all as expected when a phantom force snatches the mirror and gives it a twist. Then again, maybe a manufacturer's bolt or something came loose here at two seconds. Point is, I've never seen a car mirror do something like this all by itself before. Have you? This video comes from a supposedly haunted home in Chiefland, Florida. Diane Fraser and her paranormal investigation group attempt to summon the ghost of a child named David by inviting him to play with a toy top. Sure enough, the small piece of plastic soon begins to move on its own. You make sure that's zoomed in correctly? It is. Yeah. Okay. I want you to see that. You missed it. Look at that. that. Oh, good, good job. Buddy. Can you get that, Gabby? I am getting... Yes. Yes, okay. there he goes. Whoa. Eventually, Diane feels pains in her stomach and they are able to determine that David was kicked by a horse, possibly centuries ago. I have never seen this ghost equipment or software before, so I'm not sure what the radar screen is for. If this is just a regular tablet with an app, then there really should be no possible way for the top to spin by itself. A YouTuber named Nugget Noggin 
is exploring an old abandoned home one evening somewhere in the deep south. He's been here only once before and it gave him such a strange and foreboding feeling that he couldn't take it anymore and he had to leave. Now he's mustered up enough courage to come back and check out the rest of the house. He wants to get up to the second floor. Alright, so I got this little door here to keep the air from rising up. I reckon, I don't know. Could be somebody up there. Oh man, somebody's standing on it. Cause I sure can't lift it up. Much to his dismay, he finds a door has been laid over the top of the stairway so that nobody can get through. He tries to push on the horizontal door. One moment, it feels as if a heavy force is standing on top of it, and the next moment, the weight is suddenly gone and Nugget Noggin can get upstairs. Some rooms give him the same weird feeling that made him flee before. He remembers that the front door was kicked in. Possibly someone broke in. Maybe a family was living here long Long ago, and things did not end well for them. Won't be able to sleep. Look, there's a light on in there. That's odd. There's a mirror. You know what time it is. Nugget Noggin doesn't find much else and leaves. When he's reviewing the footage, however, he does notice what could be the face of a small girl. Take a look at this picture and tell me if it looks like anything paranormal to you. Published by Scott Walters in February of 2015, this video again shows that drones over common land or private property are an annoyance to most and a threat to others. Walters explains the precursor to the man's anger in his description. Guy started yelling at me, asked if I had a permit to fly at a kid's park. I asked if he was joking. He said he wasn't, so I told him I needed to land. This is where the video started. After asking again if the operator has a permit to be on a children's playground, the man pushes the drone out of his face. He and the operator exchange words, with the operator telling the man to mind his own business. Don't touch my stuff. Do you have a permit to be on a children's playground? You don't need one. Not in my face. You're the one who got in my face, dude. You're in front of my shit. Look, we just walked over here. I understand. I am. Mind your own business. Don't come questioning anybody about this stuff. And the man stating that they're on public property. The argument quickly escalates as anger takes hold. Even as the man turns to leave with his child, the operator continues to shout at him. Those on the aggressive man's side, like Demo Man said rightly that the drone operator could be liable if his aircraft fell down or flew into a child's head, and others noted that the man was leaving, while the drone operator continued to yell and provoke. Those on the operator's side, like Eric Mendez, said that no one is entitled to privacy in the public domain, while others noted that drone operators are often attacked for something that's just a hobby. Whose side are you on? I'm not sure if a low-key jump scare is even possible, but I think I might have found one. So what are you girls doing up there? Oh, talking to you? Oh, the dog looks over because if you look closely, its ear actually moves on its own, or more accurately like it was grabbed by an invisible hand. The woman claims this was a ghost caught on camera, pulling her dog's ear but I guess they could have tied a string around the ear. Here's a screenshot of the exact moment it happened, at 4 seconds to help us better decide. Look at this small strip and tell me if this was a string or part of the dog's ear. I'm leaning towards fake on this one. It wouldn't be hard to tie a little piece of string around the fur, but with that said, I would appreciate any help confirming this analysis. A TikToker account called the Rodriguez Twins is trying to convince his sister to drink a whole bottle of hot sauce when she shifts her weight a bit and makes the bear fall over. Um, oh, the bear just moved. At least that's what I thought happened, but apparently this stuffed animal can do a lot more than fall over. When the person recording first walks in. It looks like nobody else is in the room, but he and his sister. All right, bowl of hot sauce or say something embarrassing. So if they pull this string to make the bear move, then I don't know who could have been holding it. This grainy video taken in a dark room just outside of the kitchen shows a children's toy suddenly glide forward on its own without warning. 
The quality of the video is not very good, but then again it was taken in 2010 and seems about right for camera phones of that time. As for why the camera was set up in that spot to begin with, I'm not sure. Maybe they have been experiencing paranormal activity in this area of the house and wanted to record it for proof. Either way, there's still enough light spilling in from the kitchen to show a string on the ground if there was one. I can't see one, and therefore I think there's a strong possibility that this video could be absolutely real. Our next entry reunites us with Dark Ghost, a Russian paranormal investigator who has encountered some truly terrifying entities. However, this latest video quite possibly takes the cake in what he himself describes as the scariest house he has investigated. An email with coordinates brought Dark Ghost to the location in question. According to the message's text, the girl who sent it claimed an elderly couple once resided there and experienced countless disturbing occurrences, mainly from the home's basement. Among them were unexplained noises, including full conversations and something attempting to open the basement from below. After the couple passed, the home was inherited by their relatives. However, they refused to move in, and the home has been abandoned ever since. Dark Ghost's investigation starts off quiet, and he states he hasn't experienced anything, and it is already reaching 11.30 p.m. He then proceeds to set up stationary cameras, and that is when the activity starts. Not long after he leaves the room, the static cam witnesses a glass move on its own, sliding close to the edge of the shelf it is on. None of the other glasses are disturbed, and it wasn't knocked by anything, as it wouldn't slide in such a manner if it were. It is almost as if something is either pushing or pulling it. It is then tipped off the edge and breaks. Dark Ghost was in the middle of explaining to his camera what he did when he heard the glass break, and that's when things get really crazy. Without warning, the entire house begins to aggressively shake, enough to send bricks collapsing from the ceiling. This lasts only a few seconds before ending just as suddenly. Dark Ghost, well stunned, thankfully is uninjured and moves in to assess the damage. As he is inspecting the kitchen, where the static camera is, he is startled by what sounds like a floorboard being pushed up, followed by several loud bangs from the other room. They sound either like a fist pounding against a wall or floor, or very heavy footsteps, but it is difficult to tell. Inspired by what has happened, Dark Ghost decides to start an EVP session in an attempt to communicate with whatever is there. He starts by asking if anyone from the spirit world is present, and despite receiving no immediate answer, eventually the device comes back with help us. He continues to press for the entity to identify itself, and soon after it responds with, we've been trapped. When asked where, it responds, he trapped us down here. Earlier when Dark Ghost heard the floorboard move, it has been covered in rubble. It again requests help and asks Dark Ghost to open the basement. However, 30 seconds after this request, something else appears to come through and say, don't open it, followed by, they're lying. Clearly, there are multiple spirits communicating, each with contradicting requests. After several more requests to open the basement, an entity replies with a chilling phrase, I will deliberately eat your heart. Yes, 
By now, it is clear one of the entities there has malicious intent against Dark Ghost, and while he initially states he will not open the basement, and receiving some talk back as a result, curiously gets the better of him and he decides to lift the floorboard and venture down. At first, he attempts to use an RC car fitted with a camera, but unfortunately, the camera battery dies. Despite his better judgment, he ventures down himself. After a few minutes of crawling without incident, he stumbles across a small bone in the dirt. As he takes a closer look, a sudden noise, as if something hitting metal, can be heard in front of him. At the same moment on his static camera, left a hole to the basement, a shadow figure can be seen against the cupboards in the kitchen. As it vanishes, he emerges and claims to have heard hissing from below. As he is working to get the boards back in place, a very loud hiss sends him rushing out of the hole. <laughs> this proves to be all he can take, and all for his safety, he returns the board to the floor and decides to leave it for the night. Something in the home clearly wants out, and to cause harm, but one must wonder who the other poor soul trapped with it is, willing to warn others not to fall for the lies the other spirit says. This video is from a camping trip that Emery Buckner and his friends took back in 2010. After introducing each of his friends by name, something catches Emery's eye. He zooms in on a small clearing in the woods that's just up ahead, and that's when he sees it for the first time. Guys, what is that? I think it is. No, I think it's, what's what, really? Seriously, guys, there's I something. Really, I seriously saw something over there. Tom. None of his friends managed to see it, but Emery encourages them to stay still and keep looking. Then, sure enough, the red glowing eyes return. Guys, what? Oh my God! What, what is, is that? that? There, oh my that's God! That's it! That's it! I t oh my gosh! Oh, oh. Uh, gosh, what is it? They waste little time retreating to their boat and speed away to safety. But just before they take off. Emery catches the creature a final time. It's now casually observing the group. While perched in a tree, its head cocked to the side, its faint outline barely visible behind a pair of glowing red eyes. On July 23rd, 2018, a paranormal investigator named Sunny Deeds teams up with Summer and CJ Fashion to explore an extremely haunted location known only as the Bradford House. Sunny Deeds learned of this location from a close friend. It's never been documented before. They don't say exactly where it is to protect the privacy of this small sleepy town, but according to local legend, this house once drove a family to madness and then sat abandoned for the past 15 years. Doors slamming, footsteps, and other paranormal activity made them flee the home. The first thing the three of them find is the doll, scalped with the eyes missing too. Somebody seems to have disassembled her, hopefully some kids and not a psycho in the nearby woods. It looks recent too. The inside looks like the family left in a hurry, without taking anything. Just like what the locals said happened, the dishes had been left too dry without even being put away. There's also Christmas lights. You don't do dishes and decorate the house unless you're planning to stay there for a while, so something bad must have forced them out quickly. As they explore the garage, Sunny Deed's camera gets blurry, even though there's nothing for it to focus on. Almost like something standing in front of him that he can't see, but the camera can, and the way it goes away as soon as he comments on it is definitely suspicious. Almost like the spirit is intentionally doing this to mess with him. Pencil shark. <laughs> hey, CJ, CJ, look at my. What? Uh, just cleared up. I was blurry. Were you really? Yeah. This isn't the only time that his camera mysteriously goes out of focus. He always points it out to CJ, and it always goes back to normal immediately after. Letting you know it's bad. CJ. Yeah. Ah, God, dude. The weirdest incident of all occurs when he is in this musty room with a flimsy floor. He hears two squeaking noises. Listen. I feel very comfortable. Listen. Very, very lovely. What was that? Alright, guys, so, oh my gosh, Sonny. The squeaks could have been a loose board or something because the floor is starting to cave in. 
Still, it's eerie and odd that the camera blares as soon as he turns and asks out loud what the noises are. And given the history of the Bradford house, probably not a coincidence either. Eight days later, Sunny Deeds returns to the Bradford house on a hot July night to do a little investigating solo style. But even though it's hot outside, an unexplainable passing chill sweeps over Sunny Deeds in the dining room. I don't care how good an actor you are, there's no way to raise the hairs on your arms by will. He decides to try and make contact with the spirit in this room, and I think it might actually work. Hello? Before you say this is dust, keep in mind that this is the only orb you see in the entire 20 minute video, so it's too much of a coincidence not to mention. Sunny Deed says he doesn't want any trouble and takes a step into the next room, but something apparently doesn't want him to go in there. And when he goes to follow the noise, you can see all of the cabinets are open. This must have been exactly how the family felt. But that's not all. At 4 minutes and 24 seconds, the shower curtain is definitely closed. Approximately 5 minutes later, he notices they've been pulled back. When he steps inside, he hears honestly one of the scariest things I've ever talked about on this channel. As he slowly approaches the shower, a voice clearly says I'm here no less than three times. Hello? If this is what the family had to go through, then I fully understand why nobody has lived here for 15 years. What is up? We are back and right now we just hit a random abandoned, haunted, like really haunted house apparently. Uh, New Hope PA is well known for a lot of abandoned, maybe haunted paranormal sites. Alright guys, so like I said before, we are exploring a really haunted house in a really haunted town. Apparently, I don't know the exact story on it, but Tim, what was it? People left because this house for being so like haunted or like paranormal, yeah. stuff like that. Kyle McGran goes exploring upstairs and while filming random rooms, a person briefly appears in the mirror. It could have been one of his friends, but this person is covered in darkness despite standing in an area that's well lit. At the other end of the house is a small boarded up attic that fills them with dread upon entering. Bro, this room is creepy. Literally left a lot of stuff. Shoes. Yo, the movie is called Without a Trace. I know it was a 90s movie, but finding a videotape called Without a Trace in the middle of an attic of an abandoned house where the family mysteriously disappeared is not a good sign. Nor is anything that's stained red. Yeah, it's red in there. Oh my god. Some sort of scary voice is caught on tape, one belonging to a ghost or a demon that none of them seemed to hear at the time. They go downstairs into an old creepy basement that makes them feel so overwhelmed with fear that they only make it one step further before they turn around. Something tells me this is where the family still is. It seemed that whatever haunted this family has only grown stronger over time and drives Kyle's group away in less than 10 minutes. Shawnee Explores takes a Ouija board into the forest and places it just outside of a haunted cottage where a man took the life of his spouse. It isn't long before his electromagnetic frequency reader starts going crazy, so he and his friends know they are in the right place and set up the board. Soon they are channeling the spirit of a small boy who only refers to himself by the initials SF. They ask the boy for his age and some other questions, but apparently it's only interested in trying to warn them about a hidden danger, R-U-N it spells, so they get out of there fast without properly ending the ceremony. When Shawnee Explorers remembers that he needs to select goodbye or risk becoming possessed, he discovers that he can't move the pointer without an extreme amount of force. It's almost as if something is not letting him move. You can see the pointer barely moving despite Shawnee pressing very hard, but I guess he could be pressing straight down instead of forward to create this illusion. I think this video is probably real, but I can't tell for sure so give me your best guess and let's figure it out together. Exploring with Danny is checking out the neighborhood and commenting about how deserted everything looks nowadays. He heads to a nearby park and is looking at the water when he senses something scary in the woods nearby. Hello? 
Whoa, hello? Hello? This mysterious figure in all white looks like some kind of zombie, or a witch, or at the very least a scary person up to no good. And there's also a mysterious red light glowing behind it that looks weird too. Danny runs from the strange encounter and realizes to his horror that he's being followed. Just when he thinks it's lost his trail, the maniac creature comes crawling at him at a really weird angle and speed that looks supernatural and really creepy. <sighs> But here it just looks like somebody crawling on their hands and knees, so maybe it's not paranormal after all. <laughs> YouTuber Exploring with Josh explores the Screaming Witches Forest on Pendle Hill, and they aren't disappointed. Their first sign is when the REM pod goes off. Dude. It like it was like it even was poking the thing. Now I'm getting freaked out. When two go off at once, it's obvious they are in a powerful presence. Whoa! Whoa! Bro! They're both they're both going off at the same time! Yo! Holy Dude. I gotta get off this rock before I bust. Oh my god. Both at the same time. That was insane. How, how many times do you ever see a The spirit then starts to curse at them. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That just lit up every single light! Another kind of ghost. F*** you! Holy sh**! It just said f*** you! Tell me not! Oh my god, it definitely did! Hey! Did it just hey! Say? It's an evil hey! And then they become more aggressive. Oh no! Bro, Hang on, bro. What the f*** was what that? Did you just do then? Bro, I didn't do anything, but I just felt like a really bad pain in my back. What do you like, mean? Like a scratch, like an actual, like like a dagger. No, Are you serious? No, I swear to God. I swear to God, I'm, like, I'm not joking. I mean, dude, I, I believe you. Their devices go berserk, and when Josh lifts his shirt, he reveals that he definitely was scratched by a spirit. Like, for, no, 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 dude, Josh, no, dude. Not, hold on, hold on, hold on a second. You've got to be kidding me. Josh, have you done this? No. No, promise me. No, I, bro, I promise. I was just with you. Like, I, you guys see me this whole time. I've been recording this whole time. Josh, um. I feel there is definitely some residual witchcraft on Pendle Hill, and to me, it's clear that it will take no prisoners. Cassie is with Danny Dorito and Ali H to find evidence of a spirit that they think is haunting not just this house, but most of the surrounding forest as well. They come across a ritual that someone left behind for some reason, possibly in a hurry. They figure out how to complete it and hear a noise shortly after reciting these ancient words, which I'm hoping someone who happens to practice magic might be able to recognize and tell us more. Rolf, Nyap, Ro. They decide to leave everything behind and are well on their way back home when something ahead interrupts their hike. Hello? Holy f you saw that, right? You saw At four minutes, I can see what appears to be a normal pair of white tennis shoes that kind of looks out of place, so I'm not exactly convinced that this is real. A YouTuber named Scaredy Cat thinks he saw a tall stranger rummaging around his property, so he goes into his house and grabs a phone to record with. He cautiously makes his way back to where he last spotted the intruder, and it isn't long before he finds him again. Actually, this time, it looks like Scaredy Cat is the one who is discovered instead of the other way around. So I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm going to try and capture it on tape now. Okay. <gasps> A humanoid creature appears to be staring directly at him while remaining completely motionless. Scaredy Cat goes running down the street screaming for his life. His reaction sounds pretty genuine but I'm not sure if this was a real sighting or not. It almost looks like a mannequin that someone could have put out there as a joke. Maybe it could even be an impersonator running around pretending to be the real thing. It just doesn't seem to be the right height to be Slenderman. 
Though some legends say that the creature can change its height at will. Someone is watching in the woods. Published by Mr. Horror, this short clip shows a group hanging out in the forest and what looks like the ruins of an abandoned structure. As the camera turns from the surrounding trees to the building, it captures something creeping around the door frame. The mysterious figure is but a flash, and its features are indistinct. It quickly pulls out of view. The cameraman hurries forward, revealing a campfire built outside to the right, but it looks like the creature is long gone. What was it? Are they being stalked by the unknown? It sure looks that way to me. Number 15. Stalkers Welcome to the inner workings of a broken down mental hospital, recorded live to Facebook by Hammy TV. This creepy video takes you on a tour through the extreme ward of Medfield State Hospital, developed over the turn of the 20th century. The 58 building complex held a max of 2,200 patients and was a filming location for such films as Shutter Island and The Box. According to Wikipedia, trespassing between dark and sunrise is strictly forbidden, so these boys aren't exactly following the law. One especially creepy fact about this asylum is that it has 841 grave sites, all of which are numbered instead of named. In fact, Boy Scouts in the area made it their Eagle Scout service project to find the correct names of all buried and their dates of passings. If that wasn't creepy enough, watch what happens during this tour of evil. The crew is heading to the third floor, where there were allegedly a few passings. As they're trying to decide how to get up the very broken stairs, the camera pans the upper floor. Keep your eye on the hallway. A shadow person very clearly crosses the threshold, a shadow that apparently the crew didn't see in reality, as they have no reaction to it whatsoever. I'm sure when they watched this video in playback, they did. I'm not sure if anyone noticed until it was pointed out in the Facebook comments, but now that it's been spotted, I think this paranormal sighting is terrifying. Is that a ghost in the window? Posted to TikTok by Trina M. Ward in the video. Trina says she's at the Martin house and that nobody lives here. It's supposedly haunted. According to Trina, a man went crazy in the home and took the lives of his whole family. Some say they've seen the children's ghosts in the home. Trina was driving by randomly when she saw this in the window. The figure on the second floor looks like a child. Some notice a larger figure standing behind the child. Several in the comments warn that the child ghost is not what it may seem. Shay Zombie writes, Children's spirits don't stay on this plane. It's a demon trying to draw someone in. Don't be drawn, or you might become the next person this house draws in. A Russian YouTuber named Phantom claims to have met a ghost at an abandoned house that's full of, quote, many terrible and mysterious legends. Maybe this sign will tell us more about its history if someone can translate it. All I can make out is the year 1910 at the very bottom. In the middle of a rock floor, he finds candles unlit, strewn in a circle. The scene gives him an eerie feeling and he doesn't want to stay here for long, for fear of whoever left them here returning to find him. He thinks the legends probably are not real and that whoever set these candles was just trying to scare paranormal explorers like him. He decides to come back even later at night to make sure the legends of paranormal activity really are just a myth. As he creeps back to the house, he's surprised to find the candles are now lit and his horrors have just begun.
Standing in the middle of the circle is a mysterious tall figure wearing robes and seemingly not even noticing Phantom is at the window. So deep is its concentration. It's locked in a dark meditation of some sort that he cannot break. Phantom no longer cares about getting the best paranormal evidence ever caught on camera and goes running into the woods for his life. The woods have grown colder, more forbidding, as he hides between a tree and wait, too afraid to turn his light off even though he knows he's being followed. The mysterious figure is on him in an instant, and as it heads his way without taking any steps, he gets to see its smirking face under the cloak. I think this video is probably not real, because it looks like he uses a filter to stimulate his equipment messing up, and also because if it was real, then I don't know how he could have survived. A YouTuber named Baskir Bennywall has been thinking about the strange events of this unexplained video taken on his helmet cam at night in India. The more he thinks about the mysterious encounter that I'm about to show you, the less sense it makes to him, and the more scared he becomes. So let's try to solve this video and help him explain the unexplained. Okay, so he's returning home with his friends, but the roads are very dark and soon they become completely lost. They are already going slow to look for road signs when a speed bump slows them down even more. That's when they capture on camera a mysterious figure in white walking up ahead. At first they are excited because they think he will be able to give them directions to get back home, but the mysterious figure instead does not say a word or even acknowledge them, staring straight the whole time. Tell me what's being said during this short interaction in case I'm missing anything important. Something about the man is extremely off-putting and instantly gives this YouTuber the impulse to get away fast. After a while, however, they figure there's no harm in trying to ask for directions from him a second time and so they turn around. But here's where things get weird. They go to where he last was sighted, only to find... Mysterious that the mysterious figure has completely vanished, and it's not like a lot of time has gone by or anything like that. They encounter the strange silent man, keep going for another 20 seconds, turn around, and then drive back for another 20 seconds to where he just was. So not even a minute has passed before the figure mysteriously disappears. Assuming this was a person and not a spirit, he could have seen the motorcycle turning around and got scared, so he found somewhere to hide. But here's the thing, I never told you where they were returning from. They had spent the day at the Bangar Fort, which is said to be of the most haunted places in all of India, so maybe this was a ghost sighting of something paranormal that was following them home. I mean, walking around in the middle of the night in total darkness is weird. Not stepping off the road when a vehicle approaches is even weirder, and staring straight ahead when someone calls for your attention is just bizarre. So maybe it was a ghost on video after all. A YouTuber named This Is Dan Bell has made a name for himself by exploring some of the creepiest abandoned places on Earth. This time he is seeing what he can find at an abandoned house outside of Baltimore City, the former home of the notorious Stephen Craig Johnson to be exact. In 1983, Stephen Craig Johnson brutally ended the life of his child in a fit of delusional rage. The case grew famous all up and down the entire East Coast and it doesn't look like anyone has lived in the house ever since. As Dan Bell travels deeper inside, you can feel the sadness and despair clinging to every room. Amidst the discarded debris and wreckage, Dan Bell finds a weird handwritten letter in the closet with illustrations of a woman on the front and back. There's a brief paragraph talking about how evil the house is and what can be done to stop it. Some of the handwriting is kind of hard to read, so if anyone wants to type this letter out, I would appreciate it. Two things seem kind of sketchy about this letter to me though. First of all, the ink does not look faded enough to be something from the 80s, and the paper does not seem very aged either. I don't think it was penned by anyone in the Johnson family, so maybe someone else snuck inside and placed it here in recent years. 
Dan Bell is understandably nervous at this point, but he has come this far and there is still an entire second floor left to explore. He eventually finds himself in a stale attic covered with scattered documents and heaps of trash. He's just about to leave when he makes eye contact with something that has been watching him all along. A vulture, the devourer of fallen animals, silently regards him from the floor. Its gaze is calm and expectant, almost prideful in a way. If this really is a wild animal and not staged, then it is almost certainly a bad omen for sure. A girl named Jessie and her friend decide to try and summon spirits at a playground at 3 in the morning. The video starts off very lighthearted as Jessie plays on the monkey bars and her friend makes jokes, but soon things get much more serious. They've just barely started when they hear a strange noise and whip around. <laughs> Did you hear that? Yeah. They shine their flashlights on the playground tubes, but don't see anything. The two friends sit back down and start again. It isn't long before they've made contact. Is there anyone here that would like to contact us? Are you doing that? No, are you? No. The spirit identifies itself only as D and refuses to say its real name at first, but then says that it is the infamous demon, Mama. Then it says that there are three of them, all watching. Now strange noises are happening all around them. So your name's not Mama. Oh my god! Didn't you hear that? No. Mama. Oh my god! Apparently, their idea of summoning harmless children at a playground is turning out to be more serious than they thought. Mama starts to recite the alphabet backwards and then starts to count down the numbers, which Jesse's friend says is a way for the demon to get out of the board. Before they get a chance to move the pointer over goodbye, Sammy drops to the ground. This is what the camera records. <laughs> oh, holy <laughs> shut the f up. <laughs> Jesse just got possessed. Are you kidding? You were laughing like really weird and Are you serious? Yeah. Like I don't even remember like playing the Ouija board. She wakes up with no recollection of what happened. Hopefully, if this video is real, the demon left her alone after that, though we'll never know for sure. It could still be inside of her, waiting for the right moment to reveal itself again. Okay, here's a weird one. The closet door in this bedroom keeps opening by itself, but before I even get into that, look what happens with the lamp. Somehow the bulb becomes extremely bright and goes back to normal despite lacking a dimmer switch. After that, the closet door swings open seemingly all by itself. Tell me if you see any signs of human interference here because I see none whatsoever. There it goes. And as you can see, there's nothing there. I thought they were using a hook or something on the bottom right to pull the door open. But when I watched again, I saw it was just a power strip running to the lamp. If anything, the door actually moves the strip out of the way, not the other way around. The closet looks too full to hold another item, but who knows what else was in there staring at them from the other side. A tech-savvy phantom is entering the chat. YouTuber Amitov Paranormal Tech YT went live on his YouTube channel and his REM pod activated. So he set up a security camera in the room at night. This is what happened. An invisible entity enters. And not long after, this happens. A light turns on and off. This footage is creepy for sure, but is it paranormal? Or can it be explained? I'm not sure, but I'm looking forward to seeing what Amitav captures next. Mark Benick from the Netherlands has caught what he calls a real scary ghost video on tape. Paranormal evidence that he claims is the best. 
Most undeniable proof of the other side, he and a friend named Luke go exploring an abandoned farmhouse that's beyond creepy even in broad daylight. The inside feels off and continues to give them every impression that the place is haunted. Eventually, they come across basement steps leading deeper inside. Going down them is a big mistake. Look. Holy. This. Is so. Extreme. He finds Luke hunched over, gasping for breath, and soon he is not feeling too good himself. This. Is so. Extreme. The investigation ends early. Something got them down there, but they don't know what. They suspect this is the best paranormal evidence ever recorded, but it probably has to do more with being in an abandoned basement with not so good air quality. To further prove my point, Luke, who is down there slightly longer, probably breathed in more tainted air and seemed to have gotten the worst of it out of them both. Or maybe that's also the way it worked with paranormal energy too. We'll never know for sure. The point is, exploring abandoned houses is more risky risky than you'd think for many reasons, aside from the paranormal, so I would never recommend doing it yourself. A student needs to leave during the middle of a hailstorm, so without thinking they grab the first thing they can find, which happens to be an aluminum foil pan, and charge out into the elements. Marissa follows behind another student to see what happens next, but they don't even get around the corner before they find themselves in just as much danger. Lightning strikes close enough to shut the power off and make some random people inside scream for their lives. Somehow the bolt of lightning misses the student's metal-covered head and they are okay. But still, I bet running out of there made it strike much closer to them than it would have otherwise. Moral of the story? I hope everyone has learned to stay safe in their room anytime it's like this outside. Morgan Adams is a popular YouTuber who doesn't ordinarily focus on paranormal content at all. So when she recently suspected that her house was haunted, you know I had to take a look. Let's go over the evidence and see if her suspicions are correct. She claims to hear tapping and scratching on the walls, which could be an animal, but then there's whispers too. When this happens, she uses Snapchat and almost always detects a second face nearby. She has named the spirit Angie and it seems to have become quite attached. Angie often responds to her own name. Angie. Oh my god. Angie, you have a lot of new friends that would like to say hi. Oh my god. Though Snapchat could be mistaking the shelf behind her for a winking face and these two objects on the wall for eyes. Angie typically lurks around the corner of the house reserved for overnight visitors, coincidentally the same area where her dog Ollie absolutely refuses to go. Even with the promise of a treat, Ollie will only allow himself to go so far before he refuses to budge. Some dogs have trouble keeping their balance on hardwood floors and can actually develop a fear of them over time. I thought that could be Ollie's deal because he puts one paw on the wood and stops at 9 minutes and 8 seconds, but at 8 minutes and 52 seconds he has no problem walking on the same type of floor, so that can't be why. I think Morgan Adams could be giving a verbal command for Ollie to sit when she says okay at 9 minutes and 8 seconds. You tell me if Ollie is doing a trick or if he senses something and is too nervous to go forward. <gasps> come on, okay, come on. I don't think it's fake because then she tells him to come on and he still won't move. And when Morgan gets to the end of the hall, she hears a noise and shudders. <sighs> Plus, Ollie isn't the only animal acting weird. Her cat will freeze at the door like someone is on the other side, and Morgan even hears knocking sometimes. Cut it out right now. Stop! There's never anything there, and yet the cat stares at the wall as if something has its attention. I'm gonna freak out if you don't stop. So, oh my, oh my, there's orbs, literally. An orb of light also flies in the direction that her cat is staring. Odd indeed. 
Oh, and there's also this strange Snapchat photo taken in the middle of the night. It could be something photoshopped, but I see something more to it. To the left of the shadow person, I see a face on the wall and another peeking out from behind the covers. It almost looks like the exact same from a photo taken at the mountain pass where Angie the spirit first followed Morgan home. And if you're wondering where Angie is in the photo, check out Morgan's shoulder. The dark hair is not hers. Finally, one night, her dad lets it slip that the property was built near an old burial ground. Tell me if you think he is telling the truth here or not. Do you think our house is haunted? Nope. The way he pauses and looks away makes me think he could have been trying to avoid saying anything that could make his daughter worry any more than she already has been. So is all of this real or fake? I'm 50-50 on this one, so your opinions will help me decide. A YouTuber named Michael JP86 is recording a cemetery late at night to see if anything strange will happen. Sure enough, a mysterious light materializes in the distance. What is that? That car stopped over there? At first, they suspect it could be the headlights of oncoming traffic, but when no vehicles drive by, they realize, much to their horror, that the light is actually coming from within the cemetery itself. According to Michael JP86, the rectangular shape shown here is actually a doorway made of pure light. Watch again in slow motion, and you'll see a small figure run into the doorway moments before the light fades away. If this isn't paranormal, then let me know what you think caused the light to appear and also what the shadow running into it was. It's 3 in the morning when a YouTuber named QTube hears a knock at his door. He begins recording for his own safety and debates whether or not he should even look outside. Whoever knocked must have immediately ran away and left a package for him to open, which he soon does. I was half expecting some kind of rigged device or something like that, but what's really inside is just as weird. If this video is to be believed, then someone woke up QTube in the middle of the night for no other reason than to give him a pizza box with a gummy pizza inside. It's either the work of someone with a bizarre sense of humor or else totally insane. The whole event leaves QTube cautious and confused. Prank or not, he doesn't exactly seem thrilled about being the target of someone in the middle of the night, and I can't say I blame him. Let me know if you think this was just a harmless joke, or if the next home delivery is going to be much worse. Tiffany of the YouTube channel called Beauty and the Beastins is making a home vlog when she turns the corner and passes something terrifying that she won't even notice until editing days later. And two, he was bringing in like all. It was bringing in like all. This all black outline looks to be about half her size and barely human. It's facing away, and its bald head is hunched over a wide cloak that extends to the floor. I was thinking this could be a hat rack or something, except it appears to be in the bathroom, and I can see one of its long, gnarled hands poking out of an oversized sleeve. Judging from this video, I think this is either something paranormal or else a home intruder unlike any I have ever seen before. If I saw movement of any kind, I would have no doubt that this was real. Since the figure seems to stand completely still though, I will admit that I have my doubts. But more importantly, what do you think this is? A YouTuber named Joe Hall takes to the streets in search of the supposedly supernatural black-eyed ghost children who come out at 3 a.m. This trek eventually turns into a long walk along the railroad tracks in the middle of the night. They are just about to give up when one of them spots Spots a small piece of white fabric flapping in the bushes. Oh my god. What is that thing? We gotta get out of here, man. That thing right there, you see it? Yeah, well, why are we here? Let's though? go, let's what? go. From the shadows comes a person draped in a white gown, just like the legends say. However, I think there's probably a strong chance that this was one of their friends because it pretty much looks and runs like a normal person in my opinion. It's following them for a while, but then it disappears at exactly 11 minutes and 3 seconds, which is strange, though it could be achieved with some simple editing. They reach their ride a minute later, and shortly before they peel off, this white piece of fabric flaps behind them. 
Maybe I was wrong about my earlier assumption about this being made up. Unfortunately, we never do get to see its face to tell if the eyes were fully black like the legend says or not. Mythical creatures are said to rule these forests. Did this cameraman catch one of them? Or did he almost get caught? Published by SEOOSST in June of 2021, the footage shows the cameraman making his way through some brambles and overgrowth in the woods. As the camera pulls up alongside a large pile of them, a mysterious dogman-like face appears over top of the pile. The hairy brown face doesn't look human, nor does it look quite animal. Its eyes glow as it moves jarringly out of view. When the camera lands on it, making a gruff growling noise. Some in the comments are calling this mysterious beast a cryptid. What do you think it is? I just know I'll be staying out of that forest. A YouTuber named Jonathan senses something outside of his home and begins recording. He doesn't make it very far before he finds the source of his unease staring directly back at him. Okay, guys. A small set of beady eyes in the darkness sends Jonathan running back into his home. I was positive it was just a cat until I noticed there are other eyes in the video too, like when he turns around here. Maybe Jonathan does have an overactive imagination and was frightened by a neighborhood cat. Or maybe he really is being watched in his own yard by an unseen network of nightmarish creatures. Nursing homes are rife with elderly spirits that just cannot move on. This surveillance footage may have caught one of them. Posted to YouTube by Rice RV4 in September of 2012, this clip is surveillance footage of the Niles Nursing Center, as indicated by the sign in the hallway. The clip shows the elevator door drawing open with no one exiting. Then off to the right, what appears to be a cane slides across the floor in the hallway. It also moves to one side apparently on its own, before several people are seen passing through the hallway. And someone finally picks the cane up and places it out of harm's way, leaning it against the wall. The cane then disappears altogether without anyone making an appearance. YouTube commenters suggest that the ghost may have been trying to trip people with the placement of the cane. One commenter in particular, Siege Kroos, suggests that they have some inside info on the case. He writes, Super surprised that this got out after how hard the nurses and the people are trying to keep it a secret. In response to this, YouTuber Silent Night Crew states that he was an off-duty cop working security the night that this happened, and the man who leaked it was fired. Whether or not this is true, I think it's safe to say you wouldn't want to be working security when something like this happens. A YouTuber named Van Thotsky captures a scary moment on his GoPro as he rounds a corner and almost makes contact with a pedestrian who, for whatever reason, chooses to walk on the road instead of taking a few steps over to safety on the grass. One second later, another scary moment is caught on GoPro when he has a close encounter with what I suspect is her dog who cuts off someone else and almost causes a major problem on the road. This video is taken in the Philippines, so I don't exactly know what their laws are like, but this scary event could have been prevented had she been on the side of the road with her dog on a leash. Let me know if what she was doing is legal or not if you are from there. This dashcam video shows traffic moving normally across four unobstructed lanes when out of nowhere a woman appears in front of a black pickup truck. She keeps walking to the other side like nothing is wrong. The black pickup truck definitely hits its brakes, and the car behind them does so as well, which seems like a realistic response. Then again, there's clearly a red stoplight up ahead, so maybe they were braking for that instead. I don't know why this video is void of color. I'm assuming it's because black and white video would take up less space on the dashcam memory card. But it's safe to say that only a ghost would be able to do what this woman does. A popular YouTuber named Max Murai is making a normal vlog when it becomes an accidental ghost hunting video instead. Hi. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Caught on camera in the corner watching them all is the sighting of a ghost in a dress. When they see what they've caught on tape, they rush back to the same place for a second look. What they find has left their minds as haunted as the place itself. As they flee, one of the spirits has no problem keeping up, but it disappears before it reaches them, only to reappear again when they least expect. There's almost no way that this Japanese ghost hunting video really happened because it would have made international news. Or maybe this ghost video is just now starting to gain attention online. This video will have you questioning how safe your food is if you live with roommates. Basically, a woman in South Carolina was caught on hidden camera, opening up the fridge and spraying select items with window cleaner. At first, it looks like she might simply be cleaning a dirty spot on the shelf, but when she takes a container out that still has food in it, gives a few good sprays, and then puts it back, it becomes clear that she is tampering with food. Since there is a hidden camera in the first place, I'm guessing she has been doing this for a long time, or at least long enough to make her roommate suspicious. She even almost notices the camera at approximately one minute into the video, but seems to shrug off the sensation of being watched. When faced with the evidence, she was put in a first offenders program and faced no time. Do you think this is fair based on the video, or should she have gotten a harsher punishment? The Borgwanet House, built in 1876 in Sweden, is said to be one of the most haunted places in the world. Scratching, knocking, and screaming comes from the walls, not to mention shadow figures and objects moved by a ghost. The first reports of paranormal activity were in 1927, and they've continued ever since. Dima Maslenikov wants to document any and all paranormal activity on camera. It does not take long. <laughs> the house is still when he hears a weird noise. It sounds like an EVP of a distant scream. He gets up and looks in the room. Two knocks, both coming from this door. <laughs> he sets up a toy for a ghost to play with that also has a motion sensor. <laughs> Not only does the motion detector fall off, it continues to stay on for a full three seconds. When he turns around, something was in the room with him, a paranormal entity. There wasn't anyone in the room. The bear falls over on its own. Next, he finds an infamous old rocking chair that's said to be the center of a lot of paranormal activity. He takes a flash Polaroid and notices a large dark shadow hanging over it, a shadow that does not look like it was cast by the chair because it's in front. He tries to recreate the lighting conditions and is unable to make the same round shadow appear. No matter how many pictures he takes, it never comes close to being like this one. This does seem to indicate that it's a shadow figure caught on camera in the first photo. The investigator summons his courage and goes exploring the second floor of the Borgwanet house. As he's watching the ceiling light moving by itself, a ghost pushes him. 
Watch for the camera blur as it walks by. That's when he notices a heavy piece of furniture has been pushed in front of a door. Someone was trying to keep something from getting out of its room. He moves the barricade and looks inside. It's an attic space with a small table for someone small to eat at by themselves. The space is empty. Whatever they were trying to keep inside has already left, so the legend spoke of shadow people screaming and knocking from the walls and objects moving by themselves. It's hard to believe it, but he really does seem to have encountered all of the creepy stuff in one visit, and it all somehow seems real. A haunted coffee shop? Never heard of such a thing. But that's what YouTube team The Haunted Side are investigating in Virginia City, Nevada. Their investigation opens with a subtle sound. Um, heard that. That was in here. The spirits then respond to the team's requests via their paranormal devices. Can you touch that little box right there on the bar? Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Just like that. Look. Look. Right. What the f is that? The unexplained noises continue. No. Something made a noise right before I did that. And in the kitchen, they hear a whisper or a breath. It sounded, it sounded like a voice. The voice is heard again, louder this time, but it's unclear what it's saying. Is that you? As they're looking on a thermal camera, more unexplained noises resound. And now it's like over by the door and gone. Whoa. What? And a voice. That's the first voice I've heard come through there. Next, Patrick feels something touch his neck. That, gotta put the camera down for a second. Ooh. Something like. Not, not a scratch per se, but like. And just as he's about to speak, the spirits clink their glasses. Where are you right? Ooh. What was that? The noises don't end there. What the f was that? Then a bunch of his tech acts up on its own. I'm holding it down, the SLS closed. The full spectrum camera shut off. That was rolling. Is the IR light on? It opened back up on its own. What is happening here? As he's trying to figure it out, another clinking sound is heard. That is, what the f The spirit is even taking requests now. Can you make a noise like that again, please? Whoa, whoa. And then denying them. What the f is that? In my opinion, despite the ambient noise throughout the clip, there are too many mysterious sounds in this place to deny that it's haunted. But all I'm wondering is, if this spirit serves up a decent cup of boo brew, YouTuber named Jason L is rock climbing with his friend Kevin when they come across a narrow and claustrophobic crevice. Not wanting to get left behind, Jason follows Kevin's lead, but his resolve weakens considerably about midway through. Kind of wishing we didn't come in here, Kevin. Why? I'm pretty terrified. Barely 10 seconds later, Jason takes the worst step of his life. Oh no. Here, give me the. Here. My foot's stuck. My foot's stuck. <laughs> I'm so serious, I can't move. After some initial panic, he steps out of his shoe and manages to dislodge it. After some effort with both hands, look again and you can see what would have happened if Jason L had tripped and fallen forward instead of stepping out of his shoe. It's a sharp drop down a series of spiky rocks that could have easily resulted in shattered bones and an emergency airlift. This footage was taken in 1997, a year filled with strange sightings of a mysterious beast lurking deep in the woods of Emerson, Missouri. One day, a wildlife warden finds a camera ominously laying in the middle of a nature trail. He checks the footage, 
and is stunned by what he finds. The footage was apparently taken by a pair of hunters. The two of them are walking through the woods when an evil looking transparent figure suddenly approaches. You see that? Over there, look, 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 over there. You see that? What the hell? Wait, 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 that, because that was it again, right there, right there. The see-through creature looks small and menacing as it glides across the forest floor without so much as a sound. They lose track of the creature for a bit and then find it again. This time, the camera zooms in for a better look. Wait, 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 wait. I don't like this. You see that? Right there. Look, 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 look. Oh my god. That's not an animal. Um, I don't like it. Okay, 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 okay fuck. The unidentifiable creature sees them and squats down in a low and aggressive posture. It lets out an inhuman shriek that sounds both high-pitched and deep at the same time. The men run deeper into the woods, terrified out of their minds as the thing presumably tracks them like prey. What happens from there is unknown. Hopefully, they make it out of the woods alive, but in the decades since, no one has ever come forward to claim the video as their own. Archie Dennis is the name of a Philadelphia man who lives in what he believes is an extremely haunted home. He and his family have been dealing with whatever's down there for more than seven years. It's all well documented on their YouTube channel. I encourage you to watch all the evidence for yourself, but for now, Chills has picked out some videos to help get you started, ones that make me the most curious. This early encounter takes place on May 17th, 2013, back when he was less used to it and more afraid. Arky is looking down the steps when something on his spirit box encourages him to go in there, followed by a mysterious phrase in another language that I need your help to translate. You are demon. You are a demon. Arky says down the steps. It sounds like a statement, but it's actually a question. Something he has always wanted to know. It never says anything back, but this time it does show a sign that yes, it is one indeed. The light turns on behind him, even though he is nowhere near the switch, and it continues to do so as he films in stunned amazement. Who are you? Say your name. Suddenly, his cats rush up the steps like they are running away from something. Though I suspect they could have been chasing each other. He crosses the room at 1 minute and 48 seconds. The lights seem to move on their own while an orb also comes close. It can't be him moving the lights because one hand is on the camera and the other is flipping the switch to no avail. I was thinking that maybe somebody was controlling the real light switch from the other room. But at 1 minute and 58 seconds, the light seems to glow even brighter than before. And he sounds noticeably upset as he steps away. Oh man. Oh. His fear has probably emboldened the spirit and things have gone way too far if you ask me. He should leave it by now, but day after day, our key continues to ask the spirit if it was a demon whenever he thinks it's near, pestering it with the same question for weeks on end. Finally, on December 16th, 2014, it gives a clear response, and I'm talking more than a simple yes or no. Are you a demon? The way it answers in a full sentence exactly 5 seconds after being asked is all about the paranormal proof I need to conclude this is real. But I haven't even shown you the weirdest video yet. By October 12th of 2019, the spirit has moved out of the basement and seems fixated with his children. The EMF meter is relatively normal until it passes over his crib, and I think we might be seeing a possession in real time. 3.9, that's for my baby. 3.7, 3.9, 4.0, 3.8.
four point two one nine nine. Oh man, this 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 is incredible. And his newborn baby is not the only one affected. The spirit seems to hover around his daughter as well. The way it appears from behind, goes to the side, and then appears to admire her is going way too far if you ask me. I don't know why Arky hasn't moved out yet, but I suspect that he may be strangely obsessed with studying it, and at this point possibly even has become sentimental. Maybe it has gotten into his mind much like it has his family, and convinced him to let it stay. This final CCTV video is when Arky gets all of the evidence that he needs. I don't know if this is editing or not, but one day he is organizing his closet when a shadow figure stands over him and makes him cower in fear. If this last video is real, which I think it could be given everything else that's happened, then I guess it proves talking to a demon for over five years is, in fact, going way too far. This unexplained shadow was uploaded by a paranormal ghost hunter named K. Owen. I think it could just be a fast moving insect especially since this was recorded on a summer night in the south, but according to Kay, this is the spirit of a poltergeist in Kentucky who eventually went on to become quite destructive. If Kay's story is to be believed, then this unexplained shadow is the spirit of a person who took a woman's life in this camper years ago. The deranged paranormal entity would eventually go on to destroy the camper by burning it down just two weeks into the paranormal investigation. Chris Hopkins goes exploring a haunted mental asylum close to 3am called Forest Haven. As the name implies, they have to cut through a forest on foot to get there, and that's when their troubles begin. That was somebody. Walking down the trail, we just we started someone right over there. Chris turns on his flashlight and soon sees a mysterious light in return. They play flashlight tag for a while until they discover a group of other people who, while friendly, claim to be ghost hunters on a quote unquote another mission. Yo, we just, we just met up with these guys. Hey, <laughs> yo, these were some of the guys we were bringing here. Actual ghost hunters, but we're on another mission right now. They don't think much of the comment and join together to go exploring the abandoned mental hospital. As they get to talking, the strangers kneel down and show what their special mission really is, to take copper from wires and sell it for money. That's when it occurs to them that they are around some shady people in an abandoned building who have sharp instruments and are looking for valuable equipment, like their expensive cameras. Thinking fast, Chris walks back to get his friends. Dude, come out here and listen to all these birds. Listen to all these birds. They don't say a word and awkwardly walk away, which is the right choice. Who knows what would have happened to them if they stayed around. It's Muslim exorcism. Yet another distressing possession allegedly caught on tape. This video comes from India, where a young Muslim woman has been possessed by an unknown force as an Imam Khatib, a type of Muslim priest, stands by and tries to exercise the young girl. He asks who is possessing her, to which the girl in a sharp growl of a voice responds Izzel. As the priest goes on to cite the Quran and attempt to expel the demonic spirit, it pleads, Please, I am protecting her. I want to be your friend. She is good. As the priest and others continue to cite the Quran, the girl screams and fights back but is eventually sub- Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.